I don't know what's going on with this weather in Atlanta. It's crazy. Oh, you got a show. Fatty, we need to do some shit together. You know you my you know you my dog. We need to do like something together. Be love said I'm white. We need to do something together, like for real. I don't know why. I'm a fa- I'm I'm a fan. Y'all ever went to, how many of y'all ever went to somebody, saw him once, and was like, I'm a fan? You say you hate him. I'm a fan of him. You say he's messy. I don't know. That might be a good thing. You, you might be teaching me something. Speaking of messy. Uh, it's your cash app. No matter what, Team Fatty. That's a real nigga. I said it. Shout out to Tommy. Shout out to Angry Man. Either though the Angry Man is fake one, I had to clip it together. But you guys know we have to. Hey, this is life is art. Uh, a drop from Angry Man was seven hundred dollars, so I decided to splice it up a little. You know what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Team Fetty Show. We did five hours today. You guys watch us, support us. We got. 27 members on the untouchable so i appreciate you guys thank you very much thank you very much i'm kind of surprised this is going too fast but yeah i've been around you guys know me and i know you guys so thank you thank you thank you for coming i appreciate you guys thank you very much So, MC Evitit, a very popular name, she became a member of the Untouchables. So, Miss, thank you for all the support and thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for becoming an Untouchable. <laughs> Guys, as you know, we've been doing a lot of things lately. You know, the biggest donator of the show is the sponsor of the show. And on the next show, we can promote whatever he wants to promote. So I would like to say thank you to Moses. Moses was the sponsor of the show in the morning with $47, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to promote, if you want to do something, I usually promote things just because. But if you want to make sure or something out of the realm, just support the show. And if you are the biggest donator of the show, either the morning show or the late night show, we are going to uh, we are going to uh, promote whatever you have to promote, as long as it's not nothing a little bit. Okay. Careful! I started YouTube one month ago. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to lose my channel. I don't want to be demonetized. So just calm down and be careful. My man, Normal Nerd, once again, comes clutch. He gives one more membership. Guys, if you want to become members, remember, we have 20 gifted uh, memberships that are not being used because the people that are on the chat are not, remember, are not uh, highlight, not highlighting. They are, the settings are not okay. So... This is what has been told to me, and I'm going to tell you again so you guys understand. For the new people entering the chat, there are still some gifted memberships to claim. I counted them was 16. So we have 120-something members. We have 16 memberships that are to be claimed as gifts. If you are not a member yet, make sure to turn on the Allow Gifts option to receive the gifted membership. So what you have to do is go to a eligible uh, go to my channel click on join and then you have gift settings and you have confirm you'd like to opt in by turning on the allow gifts on this channel as you can see if you do this you basically are going to be gifted a membership and you don't have to pay about today i don't think if i have no announcements I'm going to have Austin Alleman, supposed to be having tomorrow, yesterday, but he's on the morning time on Thailand, so we have we had to um, uh, reschedule for another day, but, 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 
soon as I have uh, uh, closing data, uh, closing uh, data, data, uh, not data, closing uh, date, I will send you guys there. Don't worry about it. But again, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing well. We are going to have fun today. We have guest of honor. We have a guest of honor that I'm going to bring it up real quick in like one minute or so. I just want to make sure that everybody that has an emoji, a new emoji, knows what's up. My man Grandville, my man Ray Midnight, Black Dawn, the Demon. We have Doris. Doris is always supporting every single time. Thank you, Doris. Chess Focus. We have Big Bad Bull and you have Lindsay. So, friends, you know what's up? I already got the cash here because Doris always sends me five dollars before the show. Doris, I love you. Thank you very much, Doris. I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your patronage. And if you want to become, if you want to donate, if you want to send the cash app. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not shy about it. The cash app is fine. I'm still not okay with the bounties. Kind of Jack Jesse because the other day Black Dawn sent me $300 to blow up the old pen and then everybody left. But I'm trying. But if you want to donate, a, a generous donation, but not one that makes me feel upset or bad about being here. You just know what to do. We're going to start getting some work done, family. So please get them donations in. Get them in. Uh, it's your cash app. So thank you. Thank you for all the support. Super chess are enabled. And we are going to have fun. Let me drop the link of the lady of the hour. And if you're not a member, remember the words of a wise say. Shout out to them boys, the untouchables, man. They doing their thing. Y'all go support them niggas. Marcus, Ali, them. Y'all go support them niggas, man. So, without further ado, security. You're doing this, me. Hello. I'm doing well, Patty. How are you? I, I, I'm going to steal that for Mr. Boss. <laughs> he has the claps. I will have the claps, too. Thank you for coming. I, I appreciate it. I know I'm seen as the boogeyman. And, but actually, I think our conversation that we are going to have today actually is going to be a productive conversation because I think it's a conversation from the two sides of the aisle. But before we go there, I want to make sure that everybody, they, they know already who you are. But guys, before you go there, I'm telling you, please go and subscribe to the lovely security boss and Mr. Boss. They do a lot of content, they have a lot of interesting guests. So, Security Boss, if you wanted to explain to my panel, or not my panel, my chat, what do you usually do? Can you just give us like a reference so they can go ahead and follow you too and get familiarized with what you do? Yes, sir. Um, at Unsolicited Security Boss or SB Live, however you want to find us, either one. We actually, mm -hmm. um, I advocate for men. And I love women, but it's all with the ultimate goal of being married. I believe the nuclear family is the answer. So I try very hard to explain to women, to show women um, what it's like to be a wife, give them the tools they need to be a wife. But at the same time, I'm uplifting men, men that maybe don't know that they are an authority, that they have the ability to lead a household, um, that may think that uh, being married is not a good thing for them. I like to Show them appreciation. Tell them you're great. You're good. It can all be you. And, you know, just be positive. I'm the positive one of the group. Yeah. I like it. Because you see, as my intro, I was kind of afraid when I was playing the intro. I was like, she's very religious. And even though this is not a demonic thing, he's a, he's a, he's a cartoon, right? And that cartoon is like a crazy symbol on the forehead. And a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't do that, Spatty. But he's, that's a cartoon, guys. I'm not religious, but I'm not on that side too. So please bear with me, bear with me. I hope I didn't scare security boss and her husband. 
I hope. I, I was looking at their face on purpose, just as like, oh, please, go fast, 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 fast. So, guys. Fatty, uh, Fatty let me set you free. Um, go ahead. That symbol on your head looks like the symbol on the front of my car if you add a crown to it. Oh, okay. God okay. Has, Jesus has already won, so I'm winning. So there's that's really that. nothing you can do in between that would uh, derail what I do. So oh, do that's your thing. <laughs> so let, let me, let me, let me go ahead and be boisterous and like probably. Go ahead. I, we've already it. won. We've already yeah. won. Do your okay. thing. Security boss, give me the heads up. So now <laughs> I'm going to be very, 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 very arrogant. So my main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. And you can look foolish at the same time, too. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Give me the heads up. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Sure. I appreciate it. And yeah, let's start the show. So again, guys, go ahead and follow security boss while you are on it. But we are going to have a conversation, and this is going to turn like go around religion and all that. You guys know I'm not religious. You guys know I, I I'm actually agnostic, right? I own I. It's not that I don't believe for sure. I'm open to the possibility that I might change my mind depending on my life circumstances or whatever happens to me. So I'm actually on a... You guys know I don't want to get married. I don't want to have kids. I had the vexectomy. I put my kids on a lab waiting if I change my mind one day where I can go there and have seven out, out of at the same time. But I'm trying, like I'm really trying. I'm trying my best to talk with you guys on this space. So people can just explain me, not the benefits of marriage, but why would I, what uh, should I do that? And I'm not trying them to convince him. There's not their own, there's mine. There's my responsibility to either grow up or to stay the same and change my mind. I was not the same person that I was five years ago. So I'm expecting that I'm not the same person five years from now when I'm 38 and probably have a different worldview, right? So we are going to, stop, uh, to talk about a few things when it comes to born again Christians, religion, woman with the checkered past, and all that. Before I go there, I want to say to the lovely C, happy birthday. Oh. Love C. <laughs> no, it's not the first time I tell you happy birthday, but you deserve it. So thank you for being a beautiful and caring person. Happy birthday. I wish you have a great day. And you can celebrate three times the age that you are celebrating today. Okay. Happy birthday, Love C. Happy birthday. Please drop Love C emojis on the chat. When it comes to the show, we are going to have a conversation. I don't know if he's center. Mr. Boss is going to take care of it. I want, before we go to Black China, I want your opinion about this lady. Because I've been around Instagram, and this lady is a very, 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 when I say very, very uh, popular uh, preacher. She is from, let me see. Let me see. She has 130,000 followers. Kate Clinton represented Christ to permanent touch. Always remain. Jeremiah 32, 27. God, extra mile. It's never crowned. And the thing is, on this conversation, unfortunately, that we're talking, and it's kind of more a performative part, is the way that she dresses. She gets a lot of uh, followers because she dresses like this. But at the same time, she gets a lot of criticism as you can say on the, like you can see, very distracting. I bet a lot of people don't understand what she's talking about. And she has a lot, like she is naturally a voluptuous woman, but she doesn't have no, she doesn't have no like problems into showing her curves, right? So my question, security boss is, in your opinion, necessary evil 
or not. Like bringing people to the seat, sometimes we have to do it, right? Sometimes we have to. So what, what do you think? So if you don't mind, I want to go back just a little bit because um, it was something I wanted to talk to you about really quick because you said I was a religious woman. And um, I wanted to know, what is it that I do that appears to you to be a part of religion? This, again, we might uh, have a, like a kind of misunderstanding of semantics because I'm okay. Portuguese and you kind of know. But when I say religious, somebody that has, has, has the worldview, uh, somebody that's a God-fearing person, okay. that follows the Bible and all, the, all like that. I am not an expert, actually. I'm a very ignorant person when it comes to this. So you are here to kind of guide me into okay. those parts. But when I said religious... That's what I mean. Did I say okay. anything that I shouldn't or? Well, I, I like to clear that up because I am a follower of Christ, which hmm. would normally be a, a Christian or um, I like to always give reverence to God, who is our creator. But I, I question it because um, religion is kind of like what got us in trouble. That is the way of worship. Um, that is what we hold the standard to. That would be what someone would say. You can't wear red fingernail polish because that means you worship the devil or you can't do certain things. That's more religion, you know, and I am, like I said, a follower of Christ. So I love I tend to want to win people to Christ through love, not so much of condemnation, which we're not supposed to do. So I just kind of wanted to make that clear to you. But I, in the same vein, I wanted to ask you, what have you seen me do that was religious? So that's why I asked the question that way. But anyway, getting back to it, but I am a Christian, but when we talk about religion, I just wanted to know if I, if you, you know, but getting back to the question here, this young lady here, she says she's a pastor. Let me, let me read there. Because I want to make sure I don't, I don't. Uh, she's not a, a, a love strategist coast like Mr. Let Go. She's a repre representing Christ through permanent touch, and she's a preacher. She let, let me let me put it on the beak, like she's a preacher. She let, let me see if I can play one. I'm afraid of living a kind of life. They're thinking that I'm living the spiritual life. So this is well, yeah, asking your questions. Serving God and worshiping God are two different things. When you do good deeds, it doesn't mean that you are worshiping God. Worship comes from the heart. It doesn't come from action. This week, I really encourage you to look into your heart and ask yourself this question. Am I worshiping God or am I just doing good things? When you are worshiping God, every single thing you do gives glory to God. So today, ask yourself this question. Is my life or my deeds, is whatever I'm invested in, worshiping God and giving him this way? Okay, fair. In this okay. upcoming month, I did. So again, I'm, I'm trying to get to what she does, but she's a preacher. Like she's a preacher. I don't know if she's on a church and there's a pulpit and all that, but she's a preacher. Married okay. woman. She likes to preach. Do you see any problem with these? Like, this is this is what I think. I happen to think that in and all of us, we live a life prior to the point of coming into the knowledge of who we're going to be in life. So mm -hmm. I feel like this was a young woman that maybe um, had some work done before, or maybe just perfectly shaped or what have you. Um, mm -hmm. throughout her life and now she's made some changes and now she wants to serve God she wants to serve Jesus um, but guess what God deals with you with things that are most important first um, if he has not dealt with her if she hasn't come into the knowledge that her clothing is a major distraction to men and maybe women then that's just not what she's gotten she hasn't grown that much in the knowledge of God or Christ so um, this is a very unnecessary thing. This could be a very big distraction if she's in a church environment, be, meaning a building. This could and probably is a major problem because it is causing more than likely it, it caused people to fall more than likely men. And what I mean by fall, it would be a distraction and there. Um, they would lose the ability to stay on the message that is being given. Instead, they will be having thoughts of possibly you know, laying with this woman, which is something that is not. What we black men, black men don't cheat. We don't think nothing about it. We are straight focused. But that's the thing, right? Because that's why I, I, I put the question on that way. 
there's something called necessary evil, right? We do something that it might not be quite as righteous, but it's for a good reason. This woman, I guarantee you, probably puts a lot of seats, like put a lot of people on those seats, right? Because she... The part that scares me, though, is you said she is married. She's not She's not presenting herself as a modest woman as far as marriage. She's not presenting herself as the wife that it explains to us to be in the Bible. So that part does kind of, I question more so. Um, it goes, it's just like Sierra and Russell. Um, as a wife, you are supposed to present yourself a certain way. Um, but you know what? In these days and times, it's all we trying to blur the lines. Not everybody is trying to um, get the right answers. They're blurring the lines every day. So um, she's got to deal with that. If, if she, you know, but it is scary, though, because you kind of wonder what the message is like, because it's definitely being blurred. And, and we see with social media now in 2023, there's a lot of like concepts. It's not like the traditional church, but there's a there's appear like a lot of concepts of some churches that accept things that usually are not accepted traditionally. We kind of see the transformation. Uh, and I, I apologize. I have to say it like the same way we talk about grief on this place a lot. We see a lot of people that use church and religion to get a little bit of dollars and get their, mm -hmm. their money uh, bet their money up. So on the pursuit of money, a lot of times we have to just open the doors to everyone because if there's 70 people instead of 21, probably 70 more, 50 more wallets. So they are welcome, even if they sin, even if they did something they shouldn't do. Like, are you okay? It's not that you are okay with that because, again, they're doing what they do. We don't have to judge it. That That's their thing. But do you think there's a path to go for the church to reclaim the place that they had once on people's life? Because now it's kind of an afterthought, especially on the, the, the Christian religion, where people is kind of a lot of times performative. They say they are, but they don't live like it. And then at some point of life, they kind of, go back to it, do you think is a necessary uh, consequence for God and for the church to be on people's lives day to day? Or do you think is a bad pet the people are pursuing now where they want to be, they want a progressive church, let's say, church that sets people that usually supposedly shouldn't be there? Well, you know, I think anything could be a racket, right? People play the game of church all the time because it is very, it's money in it. So I agree with you on that side. But the idea of religion or uh, having a relationship with your creator in Christ is it is your relationship, meaning just because you go into a building and you say, I'm going to listen to this pastor, you still have to develop your own relationship with Christ in order to be on the straight and narrow. You, you can't just rely on what somebody else is telling you. You will definitely mess up. We see it every single day. Now, would I like for us to go back to that? Yes, I would. But are we? Again, it's up to the individual. It's it's all depends on the way you want to live. Now, I'm going to give you an example, Fatty. And I don't know if people will relate to this or not. I, have, I live a very clean life. There are so many things I don't have to think about. So many. Um, as a woman, okay, I'm a married woman, but I'm just going to give you an example of some things. As a woman, I don't have to think about me having sex last night. Oh, I wonder, did he have HIV? Oh, I had sex last night. I wonder, am I pregnant? You know, even prior marriage, I'm saying. Those are things that if you live a clean life, you don't have to wrestle with because you've chosen a way of life. It doesn't mean that you're not looking for a husband. It doesn't mean you're not attracted to men. It's just, I've chosen to live a different way. And that's what it does for you. You have standards and morals for your life. And you say, you know what? I'm not going to allow the things of the world to distract me from that. And this is the way I want to live. But the world is constantly telling you, oh, but doesn't this look attractive? To me, I can easily say, no, it does, it's not attractive for me to have women get drunk and, and fall off toilets. Or, or if you ever been into a, a female's restaurant, I mean, not a restaurant, a female's restroom in a nightclub and see what it looks like. That's not attractive to me. It's oh, it smells like, <laughs> it smells like the thing. It's just the thing that they do. You always want to be able to put your hand on the one that says, did you do this? And guess what, Fatty? Nobody does. Nobody it. does. Exactly. Nobody. You're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Somebody did this. So what I'm saying, all those things for a woman are so belittling. So for me, I needed to have a standard for my life. I had to have morals for my life. And that's the way I want to live. And that's just what I want to always let women know. That's our value. If you all see us as stinky, drunk, falling off of toilets, we get absolutely no respect for you from you all. And that's exactly where we are right now. Y'all see us as uh, almost absolutely nothing. There's nothing adoring about a woman. There's nothing special about a woman. She can open her own damn door. She can pay for her own food. Yeah, you know, it's just, that's just where we are. And I'm just saying, hey, it's not supposed to be that way. Men have been given a certain amount of authority and dominion over this from the very beginning. And it had nothing to do with us. We were not even here. I want to get back to what's real. I want to be in my place. And I want women to know that they have a place too, that they can be where women adore them, love them, and care for them. That's, that's, that's I hope actually I the question. No, no, no. You you answered you answer the question, but the thing is, and looking at what is going on right now, this is a problem that, I, like, you you describe our idea of what women are, right? You describe mm -hmm. Black Dawn. I will bring you up uh, a little bit later. I know you now have... Uh, like the, the easier is with the popcorn. He actually is an agent of chaos, so he's going to stay on the back for a while. I know for you to pay off of my rent the other day, now we have an emoji. I think you know that now. We have an emoji, so just stay on the back. Eat your I have popcorn. a what? Wait a minute, though, Fatty. If he's paying rent, you pay car payments too? Let him stay there. No, no, no. Because, no, no. Okay. because, because the thing is, Black Don, you want to stay? Black... Guys, oh, no. Black Don, I could... No, no, it's you fine. Guys are you? No, no, you guys are having a good conversation. I'm just no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Three, like three people is okay. More than that, because it's a reaction video, and with more people, it becomes a terrible mess. And security boss, as we'll be out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm we just, want to uh, I'm just watching huh? current events. You know, I'm just having. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. But we're talking about religion. Black Dawn actually is very good at do investigated uh, investigative like uh, questions he goes like, like he usually that. as soon as he open his mouth like what you usually hear is the go <laughs> welcome so, to the street so what and does black don do for a living what do you do for a living sir i'm uh -oh. a i'm a wait should i go to this yeah i don't care i'm a cloud security engineer okay yeah. cloud so, security engineer okay yeah. so black don I know you noticed. I don't know if you noticed. You have an emoji now. Everybody's dropping the emoji. Hey! Uh, <laughs> now you're famous. You have the headphone in your head and all like you have now. So, hey, congratulations. It's temporary, but after you got rid out of my panel and you dropped $300 or whatever you dropped, I appreciate you. So, you have. I am a not a bully. You okay. are a bully, but let, let's, let's, okay. let's, let's, let's let it for another day. I want to thank the. 100 people that are you watching the show thank you very much for coming please go ahead and follow security boss i'm going to drop the link again on like to make sure you hit that that link and you know subscribe to that channel sir please go ahead and especially you black don since you are on this since you since you up here with me so go ahead okay, you, you have, i want i want you to follow her because i feel like you on the next friday on the Super Fridays, you are going to have to go there to apologize. So go ahead and follow her right now, just preemptively <laughs> doing the section lately. But we are going from there. And guys, if you have any question that you want to have security boss, you can super chat. We are going to read the questions, of course. And if you want to be anonymous and you don't want no one on the panel or you don't want nothing, bounties for now are not in place when you open the panel later. We are going to use it, but if you want to support and cash up, you know we're going to start getting some work done, family. So please get them donations in. Get them in. Give me your fucking money. Uh, hit your cash app. Again, security boss. Sorry for the cursing. I apologize. Sorry for the cursing. I know, I know. On this side, we are part of the dark side. We are dark Vader and for like an and 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 all the villains that is possible but it is what it is i'm going to remove the pin comment for now because i don't want anybody to come here more i'm going to open to one more person because hey, he came here and he's a friend of the show uh, Wait a minute. Who, who is it 
let I'm going to play this security boss. See if you can. You, you ain't got the answer, Sway. Do you know it is? Mm -mm, I'm sorry, I don't. Should hey, I know? Sway, is that, Sway, is that oh. you? Sway, oh, I ain't seen Sway in a while. Hey, Sway. Go ahead. I like Sway. Security boss. I can't okay. hear you. Say it again. Yeah, yeah. Sway. Oh, wait. My mic isn't plugged in. It's set up to my laptop. Hold on. It's low and en low energy sway on the building. Go ahead, Sway. Hey, what's Sway? Glad to meet you, bro. Don't die on me today, bro. Don't die on my panel, please. No, nah, I had to I had to plug in my mic. My mic Damn. My, it was for my laptop right now, but uh I plugged in my you mic. To, How are you, you doing, security to... boss? I'm doing great, Sway. How about you? I just got off of work myself, so I'm doing Oh, great. you sound a little tired. I've been you driving guys... a lot. <sighs> I had to drive an yeah. hour out to do to this do this job, and so then I had you to drive an hour back. Me and, and Black Donna was where are they, Sway? She addressed me. You guys didn't. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Bro. Why are you crying? <laughs> but to, be, to, to be totally honest, I just found out today, I don't know Black Don, so I just mm -hmm. found out today that he's a cloud engineer. So did you have a good day today, sir? Oh, I, I, I didn't work today. He didn't work today. And see, Fatty, I know what you've been doing. You told us coming in and I asked you, how are you doing? Is everything good? So I covered all my bases. Yes, and no, you are you are very polite. Sway is just a person that it rhymes with piece of it, but I can say it because you are here. I'm <laughs> going to say him tomorrow. It's fine. Right. Sway, okay. Welcome to the show. You are privileged. You and Black Dawn are among the chosen ones. They are first ones to get here. So we're going to review Black China interview on the Forbes. And we're going to talk about how redeemable people can be when it comes to their past behavior. I think we're ready to go. So yeah. And again, people, 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 if you want to have if you want to ask a question to security boss, you know what to do. Just send a super chat. If you guys don't like the dis disposition, I think he doesn't. Security boss, do you mind my logo is there? Like cuz he's right next to your face. I think he no, doesn't. Daddy, this is your show. Do it. No, no, no. I don't like logos in front of people's faces. The other one is on the side, but it is what it is. Guys, once again, let's review the show. Get some popcorn to like Black Dawn and something to, to drink. It's Friday. Let's have fun. Hi, everyone. I'm Rosemarie Miller, and I have the pleasure of speaking with Black China today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So before we really jump in, what do you want to be referenced as? Black China or are you Angela White? Angela White. You are Angela White. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. So why are you choosing that name? Um, well, I was it was given to me by birth, um, but mostly just so she took everything out of her face, of her body. I don't know if that's her like her complexion seems very she looks like Sway. Let's say that. Right? Bro. She no, looks like bro. No, no. Just it, this is reality. Light skin, yeah. like very light when, skin. When Fatty calls me an asshole, right? But then I'm he shows you. all the traits of being Come an on. asshole yeah. to me. It's hypocritical. Hey, that's the nice psychology of Fatty. It takes one, it takes one to recognize one, bro. Just just take it. But let me say this though, Fatty. She um she does now look more like her mom than I've ever seen her look before. Oh, absolutely. I saw her mom. Before, I never saw the resemblance. I'm like, that's her mom? You know, you question it, but now she really does favor yeah, her mother a lot. I so. saw her mom and her mom was saying, don't mm -hmm. believe her. It's just a... But then she's doing some very questionable stuff. So yeah, kind of yeah. leads me to believe that she's, a, she's jealous of the attention that her daughter gets. But we, yeah. we do talk about this a little bit sure. later. Yeah. to myself because you know being in the entertainment With like the brand field, name everybody always calls Jackie me like Quine. hey black china china yeah, china oh. it's versace you can you can afford it back then just buy three of them nobody never really calls me angela so sometimes i would kind of like forget like who i am because it's always like about the brand 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 but not about the person yeah so okay. well you've gone through some major life changes in recent weeks yes. you've been very public about your breast reduction, mm -hmm. your backside reduced, and getting your fillers dissolved. 
Yes. Why did you choose to do it so publicly? It just came to me. It came from God. Honestly, when I posted, I didn't even think that it was going to be as big as it was. And then by me seeing that, it made me feel like, wow, like really comfortable to even go back on the internet. Cause I kind of. Does she normally like, talk like this? Fatty. The number no, one OnlyFans model thought that it wasn't going to be a big deal if she got rid of her ass and titties. Mm, yeah. So, so security boss, if this was our show and you weren't here, basically when she said it was because of God, this is what I would play, right? <laughs> I'm trying to be respectful and I'm trying to be funny about it. Like, he, for a not religious person, like, he rubs me the wrong way. You see what I'm saying? Like, people are using God as a cop out. So, I can do whatever I want. I can indulge in the worst behaviors. And well, not worst behaviors. She didn't delete nobody. She didn't do, like, she could be worse. But the cop out, God's. Like, it, it applies to everything, right? And I'm not saying that she probably is not right about it. She, hey, some, some, maybe she saw something or she learned something. But doesn't it sound cheap? Like, the num like so I said, the number one OnlyFans model that has nudes all around, probably sex tapes and all that, all of a sudden, when she does all of that she does on her body, she says, it came from God. So let me say this. Um, yeah, it does sound a bit cheap because it's almost like where was God when you were actually taking off your clothes? You had no conviction at that moment. Um, so I definitely agree with what you're saying. But, you know, I think people use Jesus like that every day, though. Jesus is the scapegoat because he he came and fulfilled the law and he forgives us for all your sins. All you got to do is repent and sin no more. So maybe that is what she's saying she's getting ready to do. I think she's handling it like a woman would. No offense. That's not even offense to security boss because she knows what I mean to an uh -oh. extent. No, I do. I do. Yeah, know like mean. she. Oh. If a, most men, if they did something wrong and they acknowledge their past doing wrong, they'll acknowledge it. They'll accept it. They'll say, "I did this, not the third. You know, now I'm moving on another place. I don't like that. What those thing is. I finally gotten back to into the church. I'm starting to go to church more. This, not the third. Like he wouldn't just blow off like what he said, <laughs> what he did wasn't a real thing and it's just like i just found god out of the blue and none of that matters and i'm just moving forward i'm just thinking straight on narrow now like she didn't acknowledge none of the shit she did she just says i found god and i'm moving to a different avenue so listen let me say this too sway you are exactly right but another part where a, a woman that is probably a little bit more sincere it could be that she's still young but a, a little bit more sincere woman would have actually disappeared for a time because this part of her life that she spent taking off her clothes, being seductive and um, in nightclub stripping or whatever that she did, it would be detestable to her if she's actually met that time and place where God has said what she thinks that God has freed her of it. It would be this is where the shame would kick in. Does that make sense to y'all? The thing this is, is though, I'm, I'm not sure if it was her boyfriend or her husband. I'm pretty sure she had a husband. This, this then, young lady has a husband? She had one. And then oh. she, yeah, she was married, married Rob, Kardashian. Rob Kardashian. She was uh, married to one, the, the brother of the okay, Kardashians. And that's kind of how she low key got blew up because she was associated herself with the Kardashians at first. But, but you know came. something though. But right. even before she, okay, I didn't know her and Rob married, but I am, you know, familiar with the relationship. But before that, um, I did a little research. Um, but Sway, that was some good information about number one OnlyFans. Is that really true that she was like the number one OnlyFans yeah. model? I, I wouldn't have known that. They were lying. So, so let's do this, right? Because she probably not the number one on the fence. Okay. Because they were telling that she won like two hundred million something, but the reality, she says at least she claims on this interview, and I'm not going to call it that she won like one, two, three million. Yeah, that's she said the, two million. She said yeah, two that's million. the Asian girl, the Kazumi girl. She's racking up like five million, seven million per uh -huh. per year. So she probably not the number one. But she stopped there. I learned from Black China when she was dating Tiger. That's the first person I knew that she was dating Tiger was dating her. And after that, I lost track. And then she was with Rob Kardashian. Rob was suffering from depression. He got fat, all of that. And it was like the, the journey for him to become again slim again. Uh, what happened? But let me say this. The point I was trying to make, though, is even prior to that, 
um, I did a little research on a young lady and it seems as though okay. even at 18 or 19, she was in um, strip clubs. She, yeah, she was, 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 yeah, she was so, even, so since back then, I think that was probably prior to the relationship that, that she became famous on or what have you. She still um, didn't mention a relationship with God at all during that time. So from that 19 to what she's what now, 32, that's like 34. a lot of years. 34. Okay. So that's, that's a lot of years, y'all. So off of her life, bro. I wanted to say to the number one thing she in 2021, she was the number one OnlyFans model. She was wow. making $20 million a month. So basically, what happened was she made money on during the pandemic, and then in 2022, probably dried up to one two million. So she's saying, "Yeah, no, I did two million in the last year." When in reality, everybody was making a. And that's probably the realistic shelf life: two to three years. Yeah, and that's how it is, and for most uh, prawn stars. Yeah, OnlyFans so. models and all that, because there's nothing you can do that we didn't see already. So. So that goes back to the point I'm making. So if that would have actually been where she's at now, where she says, I, you know, I found God, I decided to have a relationship with him. In my opinion, I think she should have dropped off the scene and stayed away for two to five years and definitely built that foundation and then reappeared. And then we would have seen a different Angela White. But this right here is questionable because um, she's probably still making money off of what she's doing, you know, doing these different uh, interviews and speaking about it. Exactly. She closed her OnlyFans, but she probably, for her to be on Forbes, she's not going to that, go there for free. She's not, a, a, she's not, a, 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 not entrepreneur. What do you call the guys that do the charity work? Philanthropist. She's not okay. a philanthropist. She probably was paid. And that's fine. You can be paid. To me, it sounds cheap just for the fact that, like security boss said, she didn't put the work and then talk about what she did. It's like me saying, guys, don't be fat. But before I go on a diet, right? Let me go on the diet. Let me do what I have to do for two or three years. Let me become step. Let me show you that I actually follow in the plan and I got the results. And now I can come to you as the person that is healed. And I can preach a little bit. But before that, actually, I don't think that's fair. Just for the fact that, again... It cheapens to me the, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to get ahead of mine, but it's like, imagine that Black don't live his life, all his life like correctly, right? The right way, the righteous way, he always was straight up, and I can do whatever the hell I want. And then all of a sudden at 33, oh my God, is that God there? Oh, and now me and Black Don are exactly the same, because again, not exactly the same, but I repented and I'm now a person that is found the light and back down is still back down because hey he's consistent who we were who we was before i don't know that's the part that kind of doesn't doesn't sit well just cap. And I a, we think she's just capping she's we she's using this as a scapegoat to you know to move on outside of the scene because her money's starting to dry up and now she's trying to flip her image on his head publicly while also making money for it but it does, it seems like she's lying about her her real like genuine reasons as to why she stopped that thing for most people is what it's like we can see through the bullshit you didn't stop only fans because you found god you stopped only fans for whatever other reasons are and if you acknowledge and accept those reasons then maybe we could actually see you in a genuine light but right now a lot of people think you cap it so, um, Fatty, that scenario that you gave, it seems like you're out to lunch because you don't feel like it's fair. And life is not fair. So Absolutely. if fairness is what you're looking for, you're not you're not going to get it because um, God deals with us different. All of us different, you know, because just because Black Don had has been righteous on the exterior, per se, there may be some inner demons that he's dealing with that you don't know anything about. I'm not saying that God is not dealing with him with those demons. It's just that that's not his exterior presence or either he may be absolutely wonderful and great with religion, meaning with the manuscript, he can follow directions. And see, sometimes that's what actually keeps us is the ability to follow directions, but his heart might be somewhat corrupt. So if you actually repented and said, you know what, I'm never going to do these things again. Um, why wouldn't that put you all in the same place of repentance or in the same place where God could bless you at this point moving forward? 
it kind of makes sense. It's not about the fair part, it's the part of, I'm a logical thinker, right? For mm -hmm. me, things that make sense. And for example, to me, it's unconceivable that I can be a righteous man from the beginning of my life until the end of my life and do everything right. And just because I don't believe God, I go to hell. But a person that has a shady past, did a lot of questionable things during life, just because they believe in Christ and then believe in God, now they go to heaven. To me, it's unconceivable. It's something that I can't, I don't have the stomach to digest, right? So it's just that it doesn't make sense to me. Again, I respect people that use religion to become better people. Because actually there's a lot of people that need religion on their life to do what's right and to do what's righteous. That's not totally good, right? If you use it for good, I just don't like the performative stuff. I just don't like the, let me put the cross and let me... Uh, okay. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Like, let me pretend, not pretend, but let me show people that I'm religious when in reality I'm worse than the people that don't believe in God because I don't know nothing to put the Christian uh, mantra in 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 a, in a good light. Just one second, security boss guys, please go ahead and subscribe to security boss. I already told you, go ahead and subscribe to her. The link is on the description. Sway was very smart. Sway doesn't want. Oh, look at look at Sway. Look at Sway. Sway. Look at him laughing. He doesn't want to get a membership, but it was smart because we have 16 memberships that are not given to no one because nobody has the thing logged on. People are gifting memberships left and right, but you don't become a member because you don't have the settings right. So go to the page, go to my own page, okay? Click on the button join, click on gift settings, and please confirm that you like to opt in by turning on the allow gifts on this channel. If you are a person that is not a member and you do that during this show, you're probably going to get the membership because we have 15 to give. So please go ahead and do it. If you don't, the money still goes to my account, but I would like you guys to use emojis and all that. So please go ahead and become a member because he said- well, Shout so. out to them boys, the untouchables, man. They doing their thing. Y'all go support them niggas. Marcus, Ali, them. Y'all go support them niggas, man. Shout out to Sway for becoming an untouchable. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Wilson. Donated. I don't want to say the amount, but he sent me a cash app. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you for your patronage. And you know what's up? If you want to donate to the show, you just have to go Cash App Team 38. Cash App Team 38. We're going to start getting some work done, family. So please get them donations in. Get them in. Give me your fucking money. Uh, hit your Cash App. And if you want to support the show and ask this question to Security Boss, you know what to do. Okay? Super chat. We're going to read them all. So please, if you want to have a question, insert yourself on the conversation, send a super chat. The sponsor of the show right now is Doris and Wilson, $5 each. If you want to become the sponsor of the show, you have to beat this amount, $6, I guess. At the end of the show, we give a sponsor. You We attribute the sponsor of the show to the biggest donation, and you can promote whatever you want on the next show. So guys, once again, thank you for supporting. I appreciate you guys. Let's go back. To the video. Like this too. Um, but now like everybody has been supporting it. So I'm like, okay, this gives me like the carriage to keep going and see how far I can go. So it makes me feel really good. I'm glad I did do it. You are receiving overwhelming support. Yeah, I didn't even I, yeah, it just came to me. I didn't even think it was gonna be as big as it as it was yeah. or is. Yeah. Everyone's really proud of you. Yeah, thank you. So you said it came from God. Tell me about that. I, I want to know about the work. And by the way, it's hilarious that they are whispering on the mic. It's kind of funny. I don't know. I don't like that. But yeah. Not seeing because I know you had to do a lot of internal work as well. Yes. And continuing to also. So on my birthday, I got I got baptized on my birthday. So I was reborn on my birthday, and that was May 11th of 2022. So from there, I was like, you know, just start taking the steps that I knew, which was more of the truth. 
you know, like what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. So that's kind of like how I've been stepping, going to church. Um, hi, Bishop James. <laughs> Mom and Venice. Uh, going to church and just having my church family and my the other people that like pray for me and pray with me because you can't do it by yourself. You can, but it's, it's better when you have like your church family, your prayer warriors, because there's some days where you you might feel like, okay, this is like too much for me. We need to call back. I got to call back up. Like I need the extra prayers today. Yeah. So. And what do you yeah. mean? This is too much for me. That's let what me I would you. like to know too. <laughs> yeah. I would like to know. Let me ask something to, to security boss to see if this is fair or not. Right. On these places, you know, the manosphere, we say religious girls that go to church on Sunday are worse than the regular girls because they go clubbing on Friday. They twerk on the club on Friday and Saturday, and they go and redeem themselves on Sunday. Do you think in 2023 that getting a woman of the church is getting a good woman? Do you think the percentage? Now, let, let, let me be fair. Do you think there's a bigger chance for me to go to the church and get a, a quality woman than it is for me to go to whatever, a library, a school, a, a bowling alley? Do you believe that? Those other places you men mentioned are pretty good, too. Um, if you'd have said something like the nightclub, the strip club or the bar, I could have said definitely yes. But you mentioned whole pretty good places that you could meet a good woman, including the church. So I think you would have a higher percentage going to those places you mentioned to meet a good woman. Now, that's not meaning that they're a perfect woman. Now, if you're looking for per perfection, did nothing wrong or what have you, no, you're not going to find that. But if you find a woman that is looking for some type of structure or that's been exposed to some type of structure, it's there. I mean, it's in her, whether she's practicing it or perfecting it or not, it's still there. Absolutely. But it's more of the structure because... Again, on this space, women are chaos. And we suppress the nature of women usually. For example, we talk about those women that are that are uh, military brats, right? And they have a, a, a lot of, like, uh, there are a lot of things that suppress them. So they go to school on foreign countries and they stay, like, they, they don't usually go out. And then as soon as they get to college, they go from zero to 100, then they just go completely out of it, right? So, I don't know. I, well, why I, are you going to put all women together? You, 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 Just like I can't put all men together. Absolutely. I mean, if, I, if I said that, I could just clearly say, well, all these men in these spaces right now are definitely hypocrites because y'all are having sex with women outside of marriage, and you're not even thinking about marrying them. You're just busting them down, but then you complain about their body count. So we can't do that. Is is you all got to be very um, what's the word I'm looking for? You got to be very particular if you want a wife. You got to be very very particular on the woman that you choose. Um, whether it's a woman that has that's in the church, whether it's a woman that you meet out with some girlfriends or whatever, it could go wrong either way. You got to be the person that figures out what you want and stand on it. It's just there's no guarantee with anybody. You know, you can talk to a woman and she might sound like she's good. This is what I tell um, yes. women a lot of times and women. You got to be willing. You got to be willing to put it into work if you're talking about marriage. See, I see marriage as being all about God. I don't see it as business. I see marriage being about God. It requires more than some agreements. It requires some some, some sworn promises. And it's got to be something bigger than just the two of people that are involved that's going to keep you there. See, that's the difference with me and, and maybe what these spaces are teaching or manosphere spaces or what have you. It's more than just agreements. You know, businesses fail all the time, all the time. They got about a what, seven year fail rate on them, a uh, five year yeah. fail rate, or yeah. definitely seven years before you make any money. So yeah. business, businesses fall apart. So, what's going to keep you outside the fact that? We just going to act good for the first seven years. What's going to make that woman yours? What's going to make that man, you know? Absolutely. But let, let me give you, first of all, on the hypocrite part. Actually, I'm not a hypocrite. Actually, I'm pretty fair. If a woman comes to me and she asks me, Fatty, what was your past? Here is the number. If you want to deal with it, deal with it. If you don't want, we're good to go. The problem is that we have as men, women are not telling us the right number. There's the saying that if a woman says seven, multiply by three. I am totally fine with the fact that I 
was promiscuous on my past. And if a woman comes to me and says, I want a deal, I will tell her this car has these miles on it. The problem that we have with women is not that they are doing what they're doing. It's fine, especially for a single man, right? Because we have to sustain ourselves, right? But when she finds the right man, the man that she deems uh, suitable to marry, now she usually comes with some sort of uh, numbers, some sort of... Born again. Yeah, no, it's not a born again, but it's like she won't a, say if she had 40 bodies, she ain't saying 40. Is, exactly. She's, she's going to five. she's going to whitewash history and she's going to say, Oh, the Spaniards were conquistadors, and <laughs> they are not going to talk about the shady story that is going on, right? So it's just like that. It's, it's this that part. I, you, I mean, you have to figure out what's your equivalent because I tell women to preserve themselves. I tell a woman if she really wants to be married, you know I do. If a woman really know. wants to be married and she's really wanting to do the work to prepare herself to be a wife, preserve yourself until you get that proposal to be a wife. And listen, I'm really pushing that because lately I've been saying, wait till you walk down the aisle. But initially I said, wait till you get that proposal to be the, the wife, you know, do let you that think, man. Sorry. Uh, sorry Go ahead. Do you think that at some point after a woman has made certain decisions that that option is out the window no she can still preserve herself it's up to you to make the decision whether it's good enough for you or not it's not a, it's, 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 there's never an option to stop living in chaos if if i don't care what you do i don't care if you uh you know woman or man been sexually more your whole entire life 20 years you've been running them in ringing them out if you decide that you are now deciding not to do this anymore it's totally your decision to do that but it's totally up to the person that is, you know, coming to you saying, I would like for you to be my wife or I would like for you to be my husband. It's totally up to those opposite individuals to say whether this is good enough for me. Now, that is going to require some honesty. That's going to require some conversation. That's going to require some. Uh, let me see what you did in your past. You don't have to ask all the questions. You can see how people move. You can actually see how this impressed upon her or him or her. You know, who? how many people did you bond with? You don't have to actually ask that question. You can see their behaviors. If she's the woman that just acts out because you say no, then you got to understand she's she's bonding with somebody else. That's some trauma that she's experienced before you. And that might not be something you want. But you can't tell a person you've had too much sex. You can't get right. That's ridiculous. They can. It, she just might not be the one for you. So <laughs> she might not be the one for you. Yeah. And, yeah. But it, it's your choice. You don't have to have that woman. You can move on to another, you know, because y'all keep getting mixed up as though like, OK, 20 women on a woman is uh, ultimately terrible. But y'all don't even know that two men that have beat her down is worse than the 20 that just kind of ran through. Well, can I ask Sway and Fatty something? Uh, so how boy. far is too far for redemption, especially when it comes to like bodies or women or whatever like how far is it like Bro, okay if she, she got like, kids she shouldn't be acting like a born again how does that how does that look though how do you act like a born again i'll be right back that means you're playing games with the coochie where you're valuing it like you're a virgin well you, you got to who else gonna value it what, what are you gonna do sway not you but i'm just saying you got to she made a mistake but maybe maybe it wasn't even a mistake maybe she was married and her husband passed away I'm not, you don't get to play with the woman that did everything right. Husband passed away. Now she may be going to be married again. And you say, look, you already got to. Um, I don't know what I want from you, but I want that coochie first. Come on. You don't do that. Well, if we, let's deal with the more, well, let's deal with the more common example, because, you know, the more common example is a lot of women nowadays. Let's just be honest. They're just picking the wrong men and they're ending up like baby mamas. Right. That's the more common example. I think okay. I think Sway would have a different opinion on, you know um widows i think that's a totally separate thing that we're talking about i feel completely different on women who decide to commit to a man and then there's unforeseen reasons as to why it doesn't work out but to these women that don't value things in the proper order and then they think they can reevaluate it later on in life and hold a different standard now i think is a false reality because the type of men that they're trying to present this to they aren't going to accept it. They're not going to accept, 
the, the man that will accept the shit that they did in the past, they don't want them. And so when they approach a niggas like me or Fatty or Black Don and or they talking shit about us not dealing with them or not want to use them, I mean, uh, take them seriously, we're just using their box, or whatever the case may be, like, you have to understand where that comes from. You've given your coochie out to other niggas for free. You've given your womb out to a man you didn't respect or accept as your baby father. Like, why would I want to commit to a woman that can't even make proper life decisions like that? So, so you, you that, shouldn't if that's your decision. And but I'm not going to wait out three months to a year to however many years to marry you for some coochie either, because I know so I can so, go get it for free somewhere else. So sorry, but that's the thing, right? The question of Black Dawn asks is a personal <laughs> question, and the reality is the market dictates if that BMW with 700 miles, 700,000 miles. Is is worth it or not, right? And we what we know is that people like us will not accept it. But if the civilians outside of this little circle that we are deem it valuable, you know what's up. Especially with these horror stories when women do something very bad, you put her on the doorstep and you say, I'm going to work, and then when you come back, somebody got her and said, Hey, oh, it doesn't treat you right. Like men have this thing, especially men that are not worse into their own like they don't have uh, self i would say self-love or they know they don't have themselves into a, a higher esteem they are going to choose this woman because they don't care like they actually it's not that they care they are starving for love they are starving for taking care of somebody they are starving for attention so the the question to black dawn is actually to me is what are what have you been like let's be honest men and women are going to be married at 30. that's a reality right now it is what it is a lot of people get married a little bit later a lot of people get married afterwards but on the western countries 29 30 31 is the average age of marriage people already have kids people already have houses it is what it is in my opinion is what the hell were you doing on the last 20 years because women use this a lot i've been working on myself okay let me see your bank account okay let me see do you have assets? What were we, did you get promoted on your company? Or are you still on an entry level or very close to it? If she showed me that she actually been working on herself, hey bro, let's 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 work together. But unfortunately, I would say in this speculation, 18 to 90 percent of this woman that says I'm working on myself, I'm healing, I'm they get to 30 and they just want like a retirement plan. There was somebody to save them. There was somebody to, they're like Black China, they kind of repackaged themselves into something and they are waiting for the next sucker to save them. But the reality is, is Don't she be no really? Sucker. Don't be, let me say this though, because I before he answered that question, let me say this, because I want to go back to what Sway said, because I, I don't want to, y'all build on scenarios instead of using, I'm going to use a real situation as far as Angela, but before I do that, let me say this. Hmm. Um. I'm speaking of a totally different woman, just like I told you guys that what I didn't see in Miss Angela White was a difference in presentation, meaning I didn't see her fade away for five years and come back and say, hey, I'm Angela White, um, quiet, moving differently to where is instead of her vocalizing what happened, you all just picked up on there's something different about her. I didn't see that. So Sway, when you say things like a woman says she is going, I'm just use this word, you didn't use this word, but I'm going to use this word, uh, born again. And she was with some man that didn't want her and she made a bad decision doing this and she made a bad decision doing that. Now she approaches me. That's not the woman I'm talking about. That's not the woman I'm talking about at all. The women I'm speaking of are making themselves or are doing the work to become wives. And in doing that, the man that they want or the men that want them will do the approaching. We're talking about two totally different women. If a woman who has already made several mistakes approaches you and try to fake you out with, I'm this now, I'm that now, she has not changed because it's not necessary to do that. The woman I'm speaking of smells different, looks different, dresses different, walks different, and her conversation is totally different. She may not even talk to you because you have a hat on. But we're talking about two totally different people. Now, what you all find and, and you keep, you know, beating your head up against because you're in certain spaces and this is this modern woman, what have you. I'm talking about an exclusive group of women and it ain't not, it's not going to be many. It's not going to be many. It's not. So, but, so is, does that woman has 30 bodies? Because she I can actually 
but but there's the thing because because we are not talking about the redemption story. People have the right to learn. She can have two. Absolutely. Yeah, she can have two. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter. She could you could a woman can have two bodies oh, and still yes. and still carry herself inappropriately. Why are we playing with that? That's what I'm trying to tell you. The fact it's that it. you had two that were not good that didn't take care of your body versus thirty that just here, there, here, there. You still are no good. You get what I'm saying? It could be bad all the way around. The point I'm talking about, y'all, is a different woman, and you all should be able to see the difference. If you cannot, then you shouldn't be trying to speak to that woman of things about being married. That should be someone that you just keep going. You don't have to ask how many how many bodies you got. It is, you know, the conversation. No, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't ask that, but that's the thing, right? And this is the same, and I'm sorry. I'm not trying to cuss. You can un F uh, somebody. You can't. It's impossible. You can un Fuck. Have sex with somebody. Yeah, you you can and you can undo it once you when it's done is done right. It's Correct. like saying something. Once the word gets out of your mouth, there's no way for that for it to coming back, right? Right. So when you do that, we actually care if the number is between two and two thirty. It's like for example, security was. Let me tell you this, right? Imagine that you have a, a mentor, not mentor. I don't know the name, but a woman that you are mentoring, right? Okay. She's a very good woman. She went to school. She preserves herself. All that. And then you have Fatty. Fatty comes to her and I'm trying to be charming, trying to embrace her so she can like follow me. And she asks, uh, Auntie, can you please uh, find out? Like, can you please give me some advice about if I should be with Fatty or not? And I say, and she says, you ask, uh, what, what's his job? Oh, Fatty now is a YouTuber, but he has, he had 27 jobs in the last 10, 10 years. I'm a YouTuber, right? For imagine that I'm a YouTuber for one year. I'm putting work, doing streams on the night, streams during the day, the, the morning, doing reactions to the beef, doing uh, shows X and Y and Z. But the reality, I had 27 jobs on the last 10 years. And if you look at it, it's a giant red flag because it seems like that man can keep a job. Seems like that man is kind of uh, he's not consistent because he's changing. Like it doesn't bring security to the person because if you, you have 27 jobs, what does it tell me that now this YouTube thing that you are doing is not the 28 job, right? So it's not fair. Is isn't fair for us to think about the same thing about women that have this amount of gigantic bodies, saying, okay, now you're behaving well, now you are on the path of redemption to become a good woman or good, good wife. But what doesn't tell, like what proof that I'm not the number 28, 28 and you're probably going to back to the streets and get the 29, 30, 31, etc. Well, you're right, but you won't be it. You won't be 28. You won't be 29 because my life is different. So no matter what you say, if you were unstable in your youth, then that's that happens a lot. I see it all the time. But if you finally reach 30 and said, you know, I'm in my manhood now. Now I'm looking for my career and it's YouTube. I still have to sit back and watch and see how you maintain your life and see if you're able to, you know, pay your own bills and things of that nature. But listen, understand this, guys. You all are still the people that are in authority and you still have your preference to what woman you want to choose. I'm just telling you, you have to be diligent about the woman that you choose. Why have a fight with a woman about how many body counts she has or not asking the question? If you see something that looks like city girl and that's not what you want, or if you only want to sleep with her, go in honestly and say, look, all I want is a good time. And if she responds, all I want is a good time, then guess what? Do what you do. But if she responds, if you see this woman, you don't see city girl. And then she's telling you, I'm not about that. Uh, that's not what I do. I am. I really want to be married. I want to be in a long term relationship, which is a marriage. And she pulls away or walks away. It's done. What, what, what can you say? You better come back. here. You don't slept with them two others. Why don't you give me some? No, that doesn't make sense. You allow her to walk away and you move on to the next. There's nothing y'all can do about that. But this is a real woman that's trying to do different life. And she may only had two partners. She may not have a child. But guess what? Two. One, you're not a virgin anymore. So it's the same difference. Women have to get value back and know what they value is. If a woman is not valuable and has no desire to be that way, then y'all accept her for what she is. That's all I'm saying. Now, far as Miss White goes here, she did, far as we see now, I see no difference in her besides the fact that she's lost her fillers from a year ago to today. Now, if she lives her life in a way 
and whomever she, you know, her personal life and they see her walking, exercising, whatever she does in her personal life, if it can, comes off different, then whatever man that chooses to marry her would have to make that his decision. But do you all really think that no one will marry this young lady? Do you really believe that? You can call Nobody whatever she wants. No, that, there's a, Nobody there's, she wants. There's a sucker born every no, day. Listen, I, 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 say, I, I don't know about that way. You said nobody, nobody she wants. She wants. Well, if she says yes, then guess what? She just decided to want them. Because guess what, Sway, you're exactly right. There are consequences to what we do. I'm not saying that she gets off free and clear. There are consequences. You may have to settle for something if that's the type of life you want. Any woman, this is true, very true. I'm agreeing with you with that. But I'm saying it doesn't change the fact that now, I want to have value in my life and I'm changing my life. Now, what that yields me is what it is. But as far as you guys go, y'all can't change the obvious. If she says, no, um, I'm no longer doing that. It's no longer about my box. I want to do this. I want to do that. Y'all have to accept it and move on. Oh, you don't, but you can't sleep that okay, one. We just move on. You move yeah. right on the move on part. Yeah. We, don't have to we, we, are, we are going to touch on that. Like, this Moving is on is accepting it because you can't change it. Mm. Yeah, we are going to we are going to keep that on ice because this is my biggest part of quotation. I have a couple of questions about it. Sure. Let me read the two, two super chats real quick. Bumpkin, ten dollars. He said, "Man, need to gaslight woman until they stop being wolf." Sorry, not sorry. He belongs to the streets. <laughs> Thank you for the the super chat. Thank you very much, Bumpkin, and my man, the two. Dollar ball champion, big discomposition, marriage, the answer for worlds or the personal one? I'm confused. Marriage, the answer for worlds? That's a or question. Or a personal one. one. Do you guys can translate this because my Portuguese is messing up? I don't know if. <laughs> He's saying run, I think. I'm not sure. I thought no, but he's married. Is, is the marriage for everyone or a personal one? marriage the answer for a world or a personal one i don't know there is the answer for everyone or a personal one yeah 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 i i a uh, big is you are part of the family so elaborate that onto 100 words and I, i'll get at you just put the art emoji or a purple one and i got you brother don't worry about it you don't need to need to pay the extra 10. i appreciate the support and again if you ask questions for us or for security boss Please go ahead and drop a super chat if you want just to support the show. Team Fatty Eight, Team Fatty Eight. You said that that's He's correct. Swear. So what what was the question? Is marriage for everyone, or is it a personal decision? It's a personal decision because there are people that are not. Yeah. The people there are some people that are just unlikable by nature. They can just breathe, and you look at them and say, "Ah, oh, Jesus Christ!" Right? So. Again, not marriage is not for everyone. I think, for example, marriage is not for me. But again, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Let's see if one day I change my mind. But for now, the answer is a clear. Uh, no, I think um, I think that's true too. Because I feel like the type of woman certain men want that's not conducive for a long term marriage. Some men actually like that toxic. Some men actually like oh, that absolutely. crazy. Some absolutely. men actually like that drama, drama, and they don't like they don't like it to just be a boring, come home, chilling. They want something happening with their girl for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Like they like that, and that's absolutely. like that's not conducive to a long term marriage because now you're basing that off of how y'all feel again, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. ain't gonna get nowhere in the marriage. If you're basing your marriage on how you feel. Just so, don't have no kids because kids <laughs> they respond to feelings. Emotions. Let's keep playing the video. Um, just like life in general, sometimes it can become like overwhelming, especially like when you're in the spotlight, and they just keep me grounded. God keeps me grounded, and they keep me grounded too. As as far as as far as like human wise, yeah. you have like your spiritual, but then you have human form too. Mm -hmm. So both of those com combined is um helping me get through. The things that I need to get through and get back to myself. Right. Mm -hmm. When the world is chaotic, my faith is steady. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. So I want to switch gears a bit. Okay. You also deactivated your OnlyFans account. Mm -hmm. 
And I hear that was the source of a lot of your money. And I want to just clear this up right now because there is a $239 million discrepancy right now going on. I've seen it. You have. So April, 2022, you said you made $1 million from it in 2021. But now I'm seeing reports that are saying 240 million. What's, what's the actual number? The actual number, it was close to 2 million within a two, wait, within a two year span. So I opened it in 2020. So right when the pandemic had hit, I had opened it because I was like, oh my gosh, like what's about to happen? And I had just recently did a TV show called Only Cams where I produce it and um, filmed on it just a little bit. So it kind of like gave me the leeway to kind of doing it because it was something that I didn't want to do at first. But at the time I had so many lawsuits and so many things that I was dealing with aside from them, I got to figure out how can I like continue to have like my house, take care of my kids, do everything I need to do. So that's why I started the OnlyFans. But I definitely, let's clear this up. I definitely did not make 240 million. Okay. I definitely did. It. She did not make 240 not. million, you guys. I, I did um, not. So it, I know a major She's part happy. of that, as you said, was mm-hmm. to provide for your kids and kind of keep up that standard of living that they're accustomed to. Yes. How do you plan Forbes on doing that? Forbes magazine reported she made $20 million a month on OnlyFans yeah. in 2021. She's fucking capping so yeah, hard right that- now. Like yeah, maybe no she, she she only kept two million because she had to pay for all this other extra shit, but ain't no shot. And 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 there's one thing that I want to to mention is, is and again, security boss, we are using her as an example of how a woman can all of a sudden flip a switch. And in the, the opinion of most men, is performative, right? So listen to this and please uh, take a look at what I'm going to show you. Right? This is her black china. Angela White, she changed the the profile picture, now very more conservative. If you look at the older photos, like the new photos, now she's all covered up and all that. She's doing the, okay, I'm a good girl now. Everything that she posts is here on another talk show, cover from head to toe, all of that, pictures of her when she was young, all of that. This is the picture when she was baptized, so these were the change. But if you look at the rest, she didn't delete the old photos. She went on mm-hmm. Forbes to talk about it. She's here getting the, the, the baptism, here taking the removals and all that. But she said, I deleted my only fans. Okay, so let's see the rest of your profile. Right? And then, then here we go again. Right? And this is January 30th. This is like two months ago. <laughs> this is two months ago, right? And we keep looking, right? And we keep looking. And I'm not even going to go down because there's some things that I can't show. Thank you. But (laughs) yeah, right? So at what point, like you you see security boss, what we're talking about is not the fact that women can redeem themselves. China is a a very like uh, an anomaly. She's an exception of the exceptions. She's up there. It's like me grabbing Tiger Woods and giving as an example as a man. But men can, like, we are afraid, right? When I say we are afraid, we are afraid to bet on the wrong horse. And woman, the, 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 the thing that is kind of unfair, and again, life is not fair. I'm not guessing for that. But, for example, a woman, when she looks at the man, is tangible. She can see he's a hard worker. He's wake up every day and go to work. What about, does he get money? What is this type of job that he does? Is he responsible? Is he violent? We can see it, right? When it comes to a woman, most of the things that men want to women are intangibles. So it's something that she can kind of pretend like the, oh, I'm feminine and friendly and I cook and I I do all the things. And then as soon as she gets what she wants, we are afraid that she goes right back to the person that you were before. Because again, habits are hard to die. And it's very probable, for example, if I go on a diet that at the end of the diet that I kind of relapse and get a rebound here and there. I'm not saying to get to where I were, but a little bit of a pizza here and a cake there. So when it comes to woman, that rebound can literally cost all your life. Life savings, alimony, child support, 
all of the problems that usually come when uh, we associate a man to a woman and then a woman to a divorce. Do you understand like the 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 the, the concerns about this about the fact that even if you try to put a woman on a place where she is healed and on a place where now she's a housewife, she there's a high probability that she can she relapse to the person that she was between 15 and 30. Oh, I agree. I think it's all a it is definitely a gamble. There's no guarantees, Fatty. It is not. Um, but that is definitely why you uh if I had a if there was a woman that had somewhat of a shady background like Miss Angela. You would want to put things in place like a prenuptial agreement. I'm not telling you to be stupid. I'm mm -hmm. just saying um, allow this woman, some would say, allow her to hang herself if that's what she's doing. But let me ask a question. Um, mm -hmm. What if she does something different? <laughs> what if at five years it may not take us back to only fans, but now she after five or six years, she decides she doesn't want to cook anymore or whatever. There could be another relationship issue. Do we mm -hmm. run away from it or do we get counseling for it? What do we do? I'm just saying relationships are things that you have to build on, work on constantly. You can't put them on the shelf and think that they're going to continue to feed you and be OK. So Absolutely. I just think it's certain things that we should men should prepare for and women should prepare for prior to relationship. If this woman is lying, faking it out, y'all will know, you all will know or should know on the courting or vetting stage before you actually gave her your last name. If any red flags came up, you need to walk away, if not run away. No joke. You don't have to do it. You have to figure out what is your motivations and what is most important to you. But if you listen, if it doesn't mean anything about putting in time, like even if you share with her, you know, I'm not really. Uh, sold on the fact that you don't have those tendencies from your past anymore. You know, are you all about the money? You come. Are we that hard to read? Are we that? Are women that difficult? Because I'm feeling boss. like I'm feeling like we're not. Absolutely, absolute, security, security boss. Absolutely, because I, I got like not. Oh, so <laughs> sorry, for real. G give me just some. Because, because, because the thing is, this right, security boss. Mm -hmm. For, for example, if a woman comes to me and she asks me, how do I understand if a man is a man of value or not? I say, I say, see if he, he this is what Taniela, uh, what Taniela uh, told me. He's a old friend of mine. See if he's consistent with his words. See if he means what he says and he says what he means. See if he says, hey, I'm going to do this. And if he does it, it is what it, that, that you're going to start to see a, a pattern of behavior where you can see if the man is quality or not. If he's wishy-washy, if he promised things that he can accomplish, all that, you now understand that you are not with a good man. When it comes to a woman, women say it all the time. I will love you forever. You are the love of my life. I will never, I will never, ever, ever leave you. And then I understand women that leave men because of serious things, financial abuse, physical abuse, uh, cheating, I don't think, I value man. Blah, blah, blah. I, we have to be clear about our relationship. If it's open, if she allows you, okay. But if she doesn't allow you, I don't care if you are Bill Gates. You have still have to uh, comply by the boss that you give because we have to be honest. But when it comes to women, unfortunately, women are fickle with their word. Their word is written on sand next to the to the shore. And as soon as the wave comes and words goes away, because on the day she feels that she is not happy, usually that re relationship is over, right? So how can I predict the behavior of someone that is so fickle and that actually is incentivized to pursue happiness inside of a marriage when actually a marriage is more about duty, taking care of the kids and making sure that everything is okay and everything is stable. Okay. So like I said to you earlier, a marriage has to be based on so much more than a business arrangement. Mm -hmm. um, marriage is not about happiness. Happiness comes and goes. You're exactly right. But I definitely think that the concerns that you have, you should wait these things out and see what kind of woman you're dealing with. Cause I happen to think women show themselves very soon. I don't think a woman that doesn't have a good foundation for a foundation and love for you. I think that will come out in about 90 days, 90 days. If a woman is sitting, giving you fake submission, that's going to come out in 60 days. If a woman has bad intentions for you, you're going to let definitely know within six months. And that's just real. Now, I don't know what y'all paying attention to. And see, this is the, see, this is one thing I tell women to do. This is why I tell women to not to, 
Um, this is why I tell women to preserve themselves because if, if I'm preserving myself and my mind is clear and I want this man, it's all about him and me showing him that I'm a wife. It's not about sex. We're not confusing anything. It's not so good that I'm going to go ahead and do it. And the things that he did wrong or didn't do to be my husband, I'm going to overlook. See, it's just straight up him and I mentally, physically, not physically, him and I spiritually and mentally. That's it. There's no confusion. But as soon as you start adding sex, the things tend to get like, oh, well, yeah, she did that. But, you know, ain't nobody perfect. You know, and, and I actually think that y'all should take that as a red flag, because if a woman is too forward, if a woman is too creative sexually, that means that she's probably did it with several others and you won't be the first at everything or anything. So to me, that would be like, hey, I might not want her for my wife. But, you know, some men say, well, we want women with experience. So it all depends on what you're you all are looking for. And y'all got to decide. But I just think women will show their real self within six months. You know, if a woman is going to be good to you, you know, if a woman will fix your plate, will serve you. If, if they don't know nothing about it and you want a traditional marriage, that is not the woman for you. Why are you wasting your time? Set your that, standards, I, set your morals, and don't deviate. With, with that, I actually I don't agree. I think I'm looking. I'm looking at myself, right? If I introduce myself to a person, I can fake forty years. She knows. She will never know why. You can fake for how long? Four years. I'm a so good liar. What are you faking? What are you faking? Uh, everything. My personality, the way that I care for her. I can do it all along. Like when Kevin Samuels, for example, said, "You can marry in six months." To me. On that period, you're still on the butterfly, on the belly type of infatuation. I believe that woman, men in 2023, especially women, because they have a lot of contact with men, not sexual contact per se, but they are willing, they are, they, are, they, they deal with thousands of men from the day they get the puberty until the day they get married. They kind of understand the game that they have to play to get what they want. And it's very... It's like getting a job, right? I got Sway, give me a job. Security boss, give me a job on your company. You know what happens when we are due at the job, right? Oh, everything. Come here early, be the last one to do it. And as soon as my contract becomes an effective contract where if you uh, fire okay. me, I get a tons of money. Now I start to slack. I start to. Well, guess what? Guess what, Fatty? That 90 day probation is real. It's a very real number. People don't last past 90 days. And I just gave you an example of how people that are not with good intentions or that are faking will not go beyond 90 days. That 90 days is real. I have tried it, tested it. Couldn't believe it. When I first figured it out that it was real, Fatty, I almost fell out. I was like, this thing is real. I just thought somebody was calling a number, but it is very real. The other thing, I got married in six months, Fatty. I've been married 28 years this year. But again, my marriage was not based on this business agreement or arrangement that you got that says, oh, she just going to act right. Oh, he just going to act right. It's more to it than that for us. It was more to it than that for us. So, And you got married on, I love you. I will send you a letter in two days. Right? We are on the, I love you. Baby, I sent you a message on Messenger. Can you check it real quick? Baby, who is talking to you on the phone on IG? Baby, why do you have WhatsApp? Baby, what are you doing on TikTok? I know that you guys, and when I say you guys, my experienced people think we are playing the same game, but we are absolutely not. And this guess what, Fatty? We did it before you all did. Y'all ain't create nothing. You got to understand. <laughs> Y'all are not creating anything. Why, the, game players, the game players came before you all. Hey, Only thing uh, you have different now is access. You better know it. So it, guess what? It's it is easier for you all. It was harder for us to play the games. It definitely was. I will give you that. But the game players came way before you guys. They did. Not you guys being game players. I'm just saying. The, the game of I'm going to spare you from sway going rampage on the whole heads. I even cover in his head with super chats. Right, let me read the, the, the few ones that I sway stop. Here's what it is. Oh, sway sway is like sway. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe was the first Marilyn Monroe was the first Instagram model back there in 1950. Uh, Marilyn like Monroe that. was the first one. The only thing different is there was no internet. She was the first one click 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 taking pictures dress flying up in the air. 
I don't know her if it's just her undergarments look a little different. I don't but know if it's about taking pictures. She belongs to the about, streets. I don't know, but this is the, the let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it when we know what. Uh, Nurse Fancy, she sends me a cash <laughs> app. Thank you very much, Nurse Fancy. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My man, all you apps sends me a cash app too. Brother, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, on the super chat side, let me see. I have my man Derek with the twenty dollar ball. Saying, showing love, bro. Support the artwork. Thank you very much, brother. So Derek is a sponsor of the show. If the show ends right now, Derek has the chance to promote whatever he wants to promote on the next show. So for now, Derek is a sponsor of the show. If you want to beat him, you have twenty-one dollars or up via Cash App or via. Uh, PayPal or Super Chat, okay? Thank you very much for the Super Chat. I have Lindsay too. Lindsay announced. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Lindsay has an emoji, an honorary one, but I want to show appreciation for taking the song in in, 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 in kind-hearted. She enjoyed it. So Lindsay says, $5, I would like to ask the guest if she was able to remain 100% celibate until marriage. Does she practice what she exposes? Security boss, if you feel comfortable to answer, go ahead. Oh, sure. Um, Lindsay, before I married my husband, we we even tried to live together. That's why I got married in six months. We we couldn't do it. So we went on ahead and hurry up and got married. So the first time that we realized that we were not going to be celibate, we was like, okay, we got to get married. So we went and did it right away because we were feeling all types of conviction by not by sleeping together, living together, and not being married. So to answer that question, yes and no, but I was not a virgin. I was not a virgin. My first was my child's father. And this is why I say these things to you guys. I tell you how it impresses upon women to have sex and not be married. This is why I'm telling you this. I'm, I'm explaining to you what it does to a woman to bond with men that they are not being married to. So what age did you get question. married to your husband? 25. I heard of that marriage way. <laughs> the way I heard of that marriage. 25 is a lot different than 34. Oh, I agree. That's, that's what I'm trying to I heard up and got married. I did. And we did to get, we was like, nah, we can't do this. We felt so convicted by what we were doing because I was my husband's uh, second wife. So it, we were quite aware at this point what was going on. So that's why I'm, that's why I volunteered the information. I'm not coming from perfection. I'm just telling you how things happen with women and how we cannot continue to be receivers and make good decisions. All I'm saying is that I can expect that's more realistic out of a 25 year old, but this born again thing at a 34 year old, they had an only fans making millions of dollars. There's a lot of baggage. On those eight, probably too much. 14, 16 years. Too guys, much. She's going to have consequences, but she still can. She can, still can decide who she. She can still decide. Well, I'm not going to sleep with another man unless he's my husband. Yeah. But, let's, yeah. you know, let's see if she's going to yeah. have the consequences. Because again, Sweet says it's. I'm not sure about it. Guys, it's not working for her. It doesn't work for her. She was an only fan. It, that's not. Sex is not working for this young lady. This the thing, security her. boss again. She literally, she killed all her value. She used it all up. <laughs> all she of it. Used all right, of the, it. The, she used all of it. She used her womb. Cool. She used her youth. She used her dignity on online. She <laughs> used her sexual value. It's all just, just, <laughs> just like Kim Kardashian, just like Amber Rose. You don't have to pay like for that, Kim though. Rose. Just I like agree. all of those women. And what happened? She They got cuffed again because there's always a sucker. Being born. I think she's trying day. to pull a Sierra low key. Probably. Uh, guess what? Guess what? She has to pay for that. The man that she, like you said, Sway, the man that she married may not be the man top notch dude that she would have normally chosen for herself, but she will be chosen and she can make the decision. You know what? Sex is not helping me at all because it's putting me in a place where I don't feel good about myself or that I've lost all my value. And I believe she'll get a nigga with money. Sorry, she'll yeah. get a man with money. Watch. She will. Most definitely. Sierra did it. Sierra won the lottery. She yeah, actually she actually she did, and that's why somebody did a song about her. Guys, go ahead and follow security boss. There's 113 people here. Thanks. Thank you very much. We are screening. 
for a lot of our security boss 20 30 minutes and i i will i will let you do whatever you have to do just want to get to at least the middle of the video because this is the long video and we're going to stay here for a while but once again thank you everybody for coming if you want to become a member, you shout know out to, to the do. boys, the untouchables, man. They doing their thing. Y'all go support them niggas. Mark is Ali now. Y'all go support them niggas, man. So can I um sway? Let me ask you a question. Uh, both of you sway. I don't know, is Don still here? But anyway, this is my question to you. What is your and I'm losing this word lightly? What is your ideal woman? Well, Sway, you don't sway. Do you want to be married? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has a okay. girlfriend. So the question is for Sway and maybe Black Don. I don't know. But Black if Don, you guys yeah, want terrorize if, the if you want to be married, what is your ideal woman, Sway? Um loyal, honest, caring, thoughtful, fit. Um I don't want to say submissive, but I want to say she believes in my direction. Mm -hmm. um, she d believes in my decision making. Uh, she knows how to cook and clean, obviously. I want her to basically be an exceptional mother to my kids and a peaceful wife that I can get along with and prolong and build with, you know, and I don't feel like I'm being pulled down or stressed out every five seconds or my house. I got to walk on eggshells or it's not a comfortable place to be around. I can't be myself, certain things like that. And, uh, anything else personal to me, like, like an anime or being fine if I play video games here or there. You know, because I still grind work. I hop on these podcasts. I do still make money. I pay most of the bills. Still do what I got to do. I read manga and stuff like that. I don't want to be judged for that. Right. So, and then if you also want to take an interest in watching it, that's a plus. So, so if that woman, things. so if that woman who had all those things you just mentioned came to you and said, "I love you, I care for you," and you've seen all those things, and she's willing and listens to you, and is definitely on your plan. But she told you, I don't feel comfortable having sex with you because you're not my husband yet. And I don't want to be a baby mama if something goes wrong. What would you say to her? Are you a virgin? No, but I've already experienced sex. That's I'm why I'm saying this is this is why I'm saying this to you. No, you already know her. She, she's all those things you mentioned. I, she's said, everything you she got? I don't know. I guess that would be the question you ask her. Exactly. Whatever that's why you, you oh, said she got, you heard. Listen, she I'm, got I'm one. She got, she got one. one. She got one she got or two. Me. Let's say she got two. But my prop, my question to you is: I can't. She came to you. You saw all those qualities. Beautiful girl. But she told you, and you knew that she was sincere when she was saying it. She was very sincere. It was no joke. And she showed you all those things. Most of her days are days that you were with her. And she come from a two parent household. And she told you she's very fearful of being pregnant and not being a wife. What would you do? You know, wrap it up, birth control, pull out game strong. Uh, okay. Because if she's not a virgin, I don't understand what she's talking about. She gave her shit up to some other nigga that didn't give her a ring, and she that's expects she, me to wait. She, she expects me to wait. No, no, she didn't no. have no kids before me. What she scared no, for? No, because she, she did it. Because she, she didn't did have it. no kids. She had sex with multiple niggas that what promised her. This, I ain't say multiple. There's you adding, but you what said I do. Two. I said one at first, then I said two, just to, I said, I don't know. But the point I'm trying to make is it's she invested, one. she invested her trust and commitment in the first one. It didn't work out. I'm over him. I see you. I love you. And I'm following you. And you see all these things in me, but you haven't asked me to marry you yet. I, I'm honestly very fearful of having sex with you. And you're not giving me a guarantee. I'm on the pill, but it's not a hundred percent. I know you pull out. It's not a hundred percent. Rent uh condoms burst, it's not a hundred percent. But honestly, I'm telling you, this is a fear of mine. How are you gonna care for me? What are you gonna do with this woman? Are you gonna marry her? It depends on how long we dating and how consistently I see her. If she's genuine and I believe in her, I have no problem marrying her. Okay, that sounds good. That's that's all I was asking. See, that's what women want. That's what they want because it don't take nothing for a woman to bond with a good guy, it takes nothing. Sway, all those things you just mentioned about yourself, to me, that equals good guy about his business, um, wants to be married. It takes nothing for a woman to bond with you. But are we going to care for this woman? Are we going to take care of this woman's womb, box, and feelings? Are we just going to get a happy ending? 
No, nah, see, with me though, I get what you mean with most niggas. Most niggas don't really tell what they, with how they feel up front. I let that shit know from the get go. As soon as we start talking in, in first form communicate, like it could be text in person. I want to know what's the intentions behind where you feel like. Do you want a relationship or you just want your back blown out? Right. Because if I'm not in the relationship uh energy when I wasn't, or let's say, you know, I don't really see you as my girlfriend just off of first impressions. I'm honest, like, but I'm honest that I bust them down to. And if that's what they want, that's what we can do. But I'm not gonna commit to you. And I let that know for the most part up front. That's why most of the women I've dealt with, I have no problems with. Right. No, I was I wanted you to do the ideal woman. I'm talking about the woman you want to spend your life with that would be ideal. That's why I use that, because women want men to care for them. And when I mean care for them, I'm talking about the empathy, the compassion. And I don't I don't think everybody understands. And I know, Sway, you and I had this conversation before. You say you do know how serious. That's why most men don't jump into it, because marriage is serious. So. With that being said, we need to learn each other a bit more because women's everything is tied to her box. So, 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 but that's the thing, security boss. If everything is tied to her box, isn't that's not her, the all of it. That's not the end all be all, but that's our emotional, I mean, I mean, that's our emotional thing. Also, so let's is, do this. Men don't isn't have he, a lot of, like, I named a bunch of things, but for most men, bro, I could simplify it to like, three to five yeah, things just, and if you break one of those it weighs it's very important so so that's the thing right and one if of we, them is not being a hope if if we know that our box is the the pandora box Sorry it's the beginning that. of the I, virtue it's the it's the beginning of yeah. the virtue of a virtuous woman it's, it's it should be of high moral and standards should be given or taken when using it. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, makes sense, but that's the thing. We shouldn't be, you know, only fans showing it and giving it away. We should be very protective. Yeah, but but makes sense, right? But wouldn't then tell that she has a comp she's compromised? Because again, if 30 people, 26 people, 19 people had her box before me, and she had no problem giving that box away, and the box is the not the end of the all. But the source of our emotional attachments, the traumas, the experience and all that, isn't it fair for the men to say, not for the men to say, because again, we can diagnose that. But what I feel is like, a, a, I use this analogy a lot of times, like the used car salesman, right? When we go to a used car salesman, we know what is going to happen there. There's a car that is in looks, at least looks in pristine condition because the guy Wash the car, you put the car all pretty, put a smell there, went to the mechanic, say, hey, bro, take 70,000 miles out of it just so I can sell it at a better price. We understand that that man is not getting scammed because he knows for what he's going, but we understand that you are going to get a shady deal there, right? Isn't getting a woman with all those bodies, all the trauma, all those experiences, putting her on a sales uh on a used sales cars, I, I, I don't know the, the wording, but a on a sales car lot. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. Where she's going to get the uh, polish, uh, polish uh, uh, outside. They're going to put something on the letter. She looks, looks really good for the next sucker to go there to buy. And then afterwards, he gets off the lot, turns the right. And then as soon as he looks at the mirror, something happens on the car. And like, you see those, those Christmas lights? Those cars that you buy and they are all in pristine condition. And like one month later is red light this, red light that, the oil doesn't this and this and that. That's actually what I feel with the black chinas of this world. I know there are some guys that only can afford them and they are the ones that are going to go get those black chinas. But in reality, I feel like he's a giant scam that we are doing because... If a man has a checkered past, we would take certainly into consideration for our future, for our daughter, for our sister, for whatever it is. But when a woman has a checkered past, there's this kind of a way of her going through loopholes because what we deem important, like Sway said, the how many partners she had, is she teachable, is she that can be easily faked. So listen, let me tell you this. That's uh, two things I want to say to you. Um, <laughs> Fatty, you took the scenario that Sway and I were on and you took it and you 
added things to it to sway in your direction. You 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 got to pre- listen. Whatever woman you want to be with, you pick her. Okay. So that's what I'm saying to you, because what Sway and I was talking about was the ideal woman. If you have an ideal woman and she does have a one or two body count, the way we get way they get to 19 is because they always looking for love. Now, I don't there's no there's no trauma in that because we can cut the trauma at number one. So that's why she asked Sway, hey, look, I'm honestly telling you, I have a fear of this. It's up to Sway to decide how to handle that woman. If he handles her with gloves, kid gloves, he could just say, you know what? I don't want to be with you like that. And I'm going to walk away. There's no harm, no foul. She can go on with the next person. But if he's not that dude and he just wants to be with this woman because maybe she only has another one. and He has sex with her, too. And then a month two later, he's gone. OK, guess what? She still chose. She she devalued herself. She let her standards go. She reduced her morals. She had a good time. Now Sway is gone. She's got two. Now she's on number three. Now she's with you. She's on number 19. So I get what you're saying. And they do need to take accountability for it. So that's what I'm talking to you about. When a woman does take accountability for it, all that language changes. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't care what you said. One, two, three. I'm not giving it up until I'm married. But let me go back. You also mentioned that men have a cloudy past. A man with a cloudy past can come out of prison and get the bomb woman yes. cooking, cleaning, giving him money, whatever he wants, taking him to the construction site to work yes. and love on him to the end. Also, the man with 34 kids can get a beautiful woman yes. that will but- take care of him. Uh-uh, hold on. I'm not saying I agree with this. I'm just sharing with you some reality. (laughs) I'm just sharing some reality. We'll Mm -hmm. love on him. We'll care for him. Now, she has absolutely no value. That woman has none. But I'm just telling you, it's a huge difference between a woman and a man. Because guess what? I don't happen to think just because a man went to prison, he's a terrible bad guy. I don't believe that. I also don't think a man that has 34 kids is a terrible bad guy. But could he be in my house? No, <laughs> no. Could he do anything for me? No, no. But he's still. There's uh, a lot of good women security boss. With exactly. men don't want to fuck. Hey, sorry, sorry. Don't, don't go there, right? So Men don't want to have sex with them women? This is oh, exactly. Because the good women that are, look good enough to have sex with, they wiped. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. let's don't go there. Know, so you're right. But most, of them, most of them. Go ahead. Boss, this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? Mm-hmm. Every time a man does something, there's consequences attached to it, and you can see it. He went to jail, he served his time, and now he's out. He pay a price and a consequence, right? Right. If a man has 30-something kids, probably on child support, or his financial life. His financial life is a little bit compromised, because if he doesn't have money, if he doesn't have money, it means that he is doomed to be on the bottom of the barrel. If he has a lot of money, he's paying to those kids, so there's consequences. What are the consequences for the promiscuous woman? There's Listen, none. As long as she no doesn't have kids, as long as she doesn't have kids, what stops me, for example, for looking at a promiscuous woman? I security boss. I know women that have 70 bodies, 80 bodies, 60 bodies, civilians, not strippers, civilians, right? There's literally no consequences for them because their IG is full of men trying to get them, they don't have the number on their forehead. And they are not willing to tell the truth. They are going to lie about it. There's a the zero percent chance of her meeting a man that she wants for a marriage and come to him and says, "Yeah, I have seventy three, and on college I have this, this with seven guys at the same time." It's not going to happen. So where we see the consequences for men is visible. He paid for what he did. What are the consequences for women? They're not. They're invisible. We okay. only know. Them, we only know them when we open the package. And voila, maybe we have a surprise. <laughs> but until we open the passage, there's no way we can identify that. So listen, um, you're you're right about that, in some somewhat right about that. But even though the men have the consequences, they still have someone willing there willing to help them. And that's what we're talking about. But going back to the woman, there are a lot of consequences to have bonded with several men and to be alone. Depression, being on the system welfare, being broken, having no value, not even wanting to get up in the morning, looking crazy, not not even good with presenting yourself, not being able to hold down a job, being a terrible mom, deleting your children and um, putting them in a freezer for two years, 
There's a lot of consequences. Sometimes it's jail time for those acts that you, those toxic behaviors, running somebody over with a van because your boyfriend had numbers in his phone. All that, to me, I think, are examples of consequences that women have put themselves in because they were too sexually liberated. Now, you may not see it as that because there's no direct connection, but I absolutely think that that's what causes this. Uh, a woman now, here, what, two weeks ago, actually deleted a, her husband on Facebook Live. Yeah, I saw that. With that you, are you telling me that, that what made that woman do that, you think? We're going to blame it on everything we can think of. But I'm telling you, I, I think it would be too liberated, too sexually. She was not covered by anything. And I don't know her history, but I can almost tell you she probably had too many um, spiritual partners. And she had it had basically turned on her spiritually and she had no self-control. And that's what made her do what she did. But guess what? Now she got to spend some years in prison. Hopefully, <laughs> shoot, they might feel it out of the way. But either way. You know, she's got to she got to pay for that. It's just that you don't see the connection. But women have consequences. Some of them can't have children. They meet that meet that fine guy, but they have abused their bodies so much with bonding with men that didn't have any good intentions with them. Their choice that now they can't even have kids or sometimes they have ovarian cancer. Sometimes they have all types of things. I'm not saying that's always the cause, but it is definitely consequences for living a life that is uncovered or that is not productive for a woman being receivers and receiving all things that it shouldn't be. So fatty, I get what you're saying, but there are consequences. Sometimes they can't even think straight. And I'm sure you've seen that before also, right? I, I, I actually Wait. saw, I actually you're saw. You're saying women. women can't think straight. Oh my gosh. You're a bigot. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 actually, I actually saw, this is the thing is the, the chicken or the egg, right? I actually saw a woman, a very beautiful woman, awesome body that were medicating herself with sex. So it started oh. to become a snowball effect, right? She was feeling bad. So she wanted the validation of men. She would have sex with them. She would feel good at the moment. Then the eye will go down. She would feel again sad. And she would try to get the validation of the man. And that kind of fueled the mental state that I will say that promiscuity either was the origin of it or it was something that fueled that, that feeling of uh, something is missing on me, I'm broken, and it went far away, right? But when it comes to all the things you said, that are self-inflicted, right? A it woman all is. It all is. Man. Yeah. When I decided to sleep with someone, I no. did it. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not even about red, right? But... A woman will only face the consequences, like the consequences that she's going to face are self-inflicted. So she will, if she, if her mind can fandom what she's doing with all those men, and there's a lot of women that are, sorry for the cussing, sport fucking around, and they are willing to detach themselves the way that they uh, uh, interact with men and their feelings. A lot of women, we can think that they are broken, but they are acting like men. They are willing to have sexual relationship men with men without on the next day having that urge to call him to see if he likes it or not. And this is happened. This is kind of normal, right? So these women are going to pass under the radar. These women are the women that are going to get to 30 and they're going to say, I want a man that is this, this, this. These women are the women that are going to say, now after I had said seven partners, 12 partners, I'm going to close my legs and I'm going to ask for my future husband a way higher price than all the things that I asked for the man that, that, that came before. And that's for a man, it's kind of like, it, it makes actually men jaded, right? Because they look at it and say, come on, man. So let me see if I get this straight. I am the man of your life and I have to pay premium value. I have to put a ringer on your finger, bring me to my house, put a kid on your belly, buy you a car and all that when Do Johnny got you for a McDonald's and the movie ticket, uh, the uh, movie ticket, uh, a ticket from for the movies. Is that what we're doing here? So I think it's natural for the men to look at it and kind of look at it and say, no, this is not a fair deal because you guys, again, the word fair, I shouldn't use it. This is not a good deal because you can hide everything that I value on you and kind of arrange it to a, 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 a situation where I can kind of look at you and say, oh, Sierra, Sierra prayer. She's a new woman. Hallelujah. And then after one year of getting married, two years of getting married, now she relapsed. 
to the woman that she was before and she kind of embarrassing her husband while i don't have that time of day because as soon as i stop paying bills as soon as i stop providing as soon as i stop protecting you can immediately see he's, he's not he's not doing the part of the deal so 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 fatty i agree with you i agree with you but this is where i'm a little perplexed hmm. i agree with you that is mm -hmm. definitely taking a chance, but this is where I'm a little perplexed. I'm going to use the last example you gave of the woman who had 19 bodies. Yes. She has 19 bodies. She's decided to give her life to the Lord. She's decided to become a changed woman. You feel yeah, very yeah. dated by, by that. Actually feels like it's a lie, but she wasn't the woman you wanted in the beginning anyway. So how does this affect you? Because I understand, I am a realist, right? I understand that most women are going to give me the same deal. They are going to put the same deal on the table. Example, some someone that cheated on the test and the person that actually did the test probably going to get the same score. One was next to each other. They were looking duh, 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 and they are going to have the same test. But one is real and the other is not. I'm not mad about women being promiscuous. I'm not mad about women doing whatever they want to their life, chasing their careers, having seven kids. That's real, that's real life, that's reality. I have no problem with it. I have a problem with the fact that they can do that. And then when it comes to the day of the test, they will see it, they will look at the desk and say, oh, they're saying that I have to be friendly, feminine, submissive, cook, clean. I got this. Teddy, what do you like on a woman? Um, you tell me, oh, I'm friendly, submissive, and now she passed on the test because she knows exactly what I want from her. And the difference is I am kind of seasoned right now, but most of the men that are not on this place, again, Kevin Samuels was the biggest content creator on this place, and he had 1 million followers. So where is the rest of the 3 billion men around the world? Are they prepared for the woman that is listening to Kevin Samuels? And she's like, oh, is this what I have to say? And then she goes to the street, to the civilian, and she gave him what he wants. This is my resentment when it comes to women. Is the fact that not that they are doing something wrong, but that they are they are getting away with robbery and nobody saying nothing because hey fatty, it is what it is. If you don't get married, you are afraid. If you don't get married, you who hurt you? Nobody hurt me. I'm looking at what I have in front of me and I'm saying this is a terrible deal. And I rather be selfish. And die alone and don't have seven kids and a lovely wife and a picket fence and all that, then engage into a situation where I know most probably, especially in my country, divorce I, rates. I would just say, I'm gonna give Fatty, uh, I don't, uh, kudos or whatever, try to help him a little bit, not help him, but uh, agree with him to an extent. If he's talking about Portugal, it's way worse, bro. I talked to them a little bit with another Portuguese woman he brought up. Them niggas over there is straight simping. The culture is women run them mm. niggas. They can have a job. The men can still have money. They can have 40 bodies, and they still going to get wiped. They can do, have girls trip, everything. It's simp nation. Sway, do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you understand how many messages that girl got before she got out of here? 85,000. <laughs> Did I'm you see it? <laughs> probably so you probably had around you probably got two two k three k views on that she probably got around 100 so so mm -hmm. security was for you to understand this right and this is a uh, this is on the man we don't want to bash woman i brought a portuguese friend of mine right mm -hmm. very attractive big titties big ass whatever like all the 900 or whatever the name the number you guys use she came on the show. She's very open-minded. She clearly said, I have 30 bodies or 40 bodies, whatever she said. And she got a ton of messages. And she got a ton of men still want her. And again, it's their fault. It's not her fault for being honest. But the thing is, I know perfectly that if that woman meets the man of her life, and she's my friend for 15 years, 18 years, what she's going to do is she's going to come to him and she's going to say, my body count is six. I love you. I will cook oh. for you. You see, this yeah. is the part of the game that we're like, damn. So is the guy that is the man of your life is going to get the the uh, only version and all the rest of them are going to get this. This is the part of the game that we can't understand and that we look around and say, man, Jesus Christ. Like, what? I'm not niggas walking around looking like a fool because if it's a local chick and he don't know and she lied to him and now he walking around with basically 
the town hoe or at least multiple niggas he know or multiple he plays sports or whatever. Now all the niggas in games like, yo, I know her. This and then the third niggas, you know, whoop de whoop. Now that she get back to his ear, she been ran through. It's like, God damn. No, I understand that totally, but I'm just trying to figure out what would you prefer? Would you just prefer to her for, for her to say, um, I have 19 bodies and continue to have sex with you? Would that be okay? The same way, the same way women want us to be honest up front and say, yo, we just want to smash or hey, we looking for a marriage or whatever, whatever. The same way we want we want y'all to be upfront about that shit. Let us know. Cause the same well, we, way we want to have to choose to deny and say nah, move to the next. When we say that shit to y'all, we want that same choice. Like, That's tell what us I've what your saying. body count is. That's what I've been, no, I've been saying the whole time. I mean, I'm not into women's body counts. That's up to we you. Are, like, though. No, I agree. But all I've been saying is I tell women to preserve themselves and they got to let you guys know up front. That's all I've been saying. It's a, this is an upfront conversation. My intentions are being married. I want to be a wife. I'm not interested in being ran through, bust down or anything like that. Is that what you're interested in? Yay or nay? That's where that's where I won't mm -hmm. say men want to know, mm -hmm. but I want to say this if the if it was to ever be asked, we want you to be honest. Well, I agree if, with that, but I, but that's not I don't think that that's where Fatty and I kind of had to divide. I if it is, I didn't understand it that way. I thought he and I divided on the fact that the woman is saying, I'm no longer interested in being liberated sexually, I am now preserving myself that, for a husband. Exactly. I'm being honest, and I I'm changing my you. mind. I, I got, I just got ran through. I got but trained. This, this I got whatever. I, I exactly. sucked the whole NBA team right. off just right. for fun. All of that. All of that. Uh, and if, got, and if he took, wants, yeah. right? But yeah. if he wants to be I with me, be born again. No, listen. I just told him what what happened. I told him everything. He could say no, walk away. But I think what Fatty is saying, don't tell me that you can't possibly change because you you're already giving it away. Can be a born again virgin. There's no such thing star. as a born again. There's no such thing as a born again virgin. I, well, let's I go with the, the you know the, what the, the phrase means. Yeah, no, let's see, go. See, but born again doesn't have for me doesn't have anything to do with your box. It just it's just your mindset and your relationship with Christ that you didn't have before. So it's a renewal. It's a renewal of the mind of the body of the spirit, and it definitely can be re be done. Men can actually experience being born again. It has nothing to do with your sexual prowess or how many men or women you slept with. Yeah. It's what I'm going to do from this point. Now you telling me that you can't be born, born again? again? <laughs> Is that I what don't I'm think saying? a star could be born again. Nah. Oh, let, well. let me, not let in me. a husband's mind, at least. Maybe in let her me. brain. But every time yeah. he get a DM of her sucking some big black dude yeah, that in the very video, challenging, that yeah. Is, yeah, it ain't no way. You see your chick's titties on on a Google, ain't it's hard to <laughs> think about that. So. It's gonna be beyond hard. I don't know. I don't know how she erases her thumbprint on the internet. I don't know how she would do that. I don't even know if it can be done. That is gonna be difficult. But yeah. it's gonna be. But guess what? Men entertain her now. And they know she's out there doing or have done it or got a pass and what have you. So I don't know. So let, let me read the super chat real quick. Big is composition five dollars. Woman have to realize you can't manipulate men to marriage by holding out on box, especially if she's not a virgin. We want the same or better from you. Big is composition. The reality is that they actually can. Because there's a lot of men that are so starving, that are so, they really want to get married. They really want that woman that are willing to pay premium for a woman that was giving her away for free for decades. That's the reality. That's why we have a lot of men. And again, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a noble job, like being a stepdad when everything is explained in front, right? But we have a lot of men that get himself, for example, into a deals with women that have terrible baby daddies, have terrible like chemistry with the guy. They say, oh, no, he's not in the life. He's not in the life of the kid. And then all of a sudden you are not having a relationship with the wife. You're you having a relationship with the baby daddy. You have a relationship with somebody that can really hurt or can really uh, impair your ability to take care of the, the, the her kids. It's a deal that most men will take if the woman is quality enough because most men are willing to be stepdads, but a lot of men are willing to go above and beyond, aka actually sometimes losing their life, sometimes to get a little bit of peace live at home.
that's the reality of the men of today. And we always put accountability on women. But honest to God, somebody's buying these subscriptions on OnlyFans. Somebody. Oh, two million, sending, worth. Two million. Exactly. Somebody sending cash apps to this woman. Somebody's flying them out. Somebody's cuffing them. Somebody's looking at their IGs with scandalous clad photos and say, mm, this is the woman that I want. So, wait, hey, I get what you're saying. This was on a beautiful world, but on the reality, women and men are complicit on it. And for 10 men that are going to stand firm and going to say, I'm not dealing with her, there's 30 men that are willing to jump the line just to get a sniff of her panties. That's the reality. Once again, big is on position. Thank you. And if you guys want to support the show, uh, the sponsor of the show, Derek, $20. $21 you become a sponsor. You can promote whatever you want afterwards. So again, super chats, PayPal's, especially cash apps. Appreciate you guys. Thank you We're going to start getting some work done, family. So please get them donations in. Get them in. Give me your fucking money. Uh, hit your cash app. Guys, go ahead and follow Security Boss too, please. Go ahead. There's still 100 people watching the show. So please go ahead and follow Security Boss. Security Boss, you can leave, but anytime you want from now on, we are going to continue to review the video, be a little bit more diligent. But for now, actually, I think it put me at ease, right? At least with this <laughs> conversation that we are going to have. I think we are going to see each other a little bit more, especially now that I'm doing my page and we're going to see on other people's panels. But... I kind of, I kind of, finally, I think you kind of understand that he's not malice, he's not eight for. I'm not saying that you're saying, but for example, I don't want to say the name. Uh, rhymes with uh, King uh, Weaver, whatever. Like every time somebody gives a little bit of pushback, and every time somebody says something that doesn't go end to end with woman best interest, we are called either misogynist, we wait woman who hurt you and all that. And I don't I'm know who you're talking about, bro. I don't think she do either. Who me? No. No, 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 no. It's not her. It's not her. And I'm not talking about that, right? Well, so I, say, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't either. <laughs> he he kind of got me. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, no, I'm talking about King Sheba and they're they're oh. the 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 the, oh. the Legion of Doom. So uh yeah, happens all the all the time. So if a man is realistic and if a man brings uh actually concrete uh concerns about the state of what happening? Oh no! You only have to get one. It seems like every time a man kind of doesn't do the. I'm a macho man and I'm going to defeat. Like he's not hyper optimistic. They kind of shame you into submission. So I actually am kind of glad that we kind of had this conversation because again, it's it's so more of a, a nuanced conversation. It's not a conversation where we talk past each other instead of uh, at each other, if you see what I'm saying. Yeah, so listen, Fatty, let me tell you a little bit about that. I'm not mentioning anybody names. That's not important. Um, I advocate for men. I want you all to definitely be in a position. And I always, you know, tell you how much we appreciate you and how much I appreciate you and women should. Um, but the difference is, first of all, I am not, I don't want to disappoint, but I'm not a part of any sisterhood. Mm -hmm. I'm not. So the things that I do and say, they're coming straight from me. And I'd like to do both right and wrong on both sides. Um, and I don't pander. So if I see a man that has a wrong idea or is thinking incorrectly about a woman or not handling women in the correct way, I don't mind saying, hey, listen, we shouldn't be handled that way. But vice versa on the other side, women, you're not handling him like the king he is. So let's go back and fix that. But I'm just not going to I'm not going to follow anyone. I have my own ideas about this. I've been doing it for a very long time. And see, listen, I'm not interested in having y'all apart. I want all y'all together. I want men and women to be together. So we got to understand each other to, in order to do that. We have to have compassion. First of all, we got to have respect for you guys. And that's what we don't see in these spaces. Men are not getting the respect that they need to have. And the first thing a woman would say is you got to earn respect to get respect and all that. And that's crazy. We should respect each other off top. And men have to have respect. Second thing is, I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. Do you, ah, shit. Never mind. Go ahead. Say your second thing because I can remember my point. Go ahead. You made me forget mine. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. I was just saying the second part is uh, we have to give respect. The second part is that when men, we need y'all to have compassion and empathy for us as women. I think a lot of times that just the fact that this may not be the space, right? I just don't think sometimes that we understand each other, that y'all understand us uh, on that level. So therefore there'll be a lot of um, kind of not cutthroat, but get it together and keep going, get it together and keep going solution and let's go. But it's just not like that. We feel women actually feel. So I sometimes need for you all to fill us. We need to respect you guys, but y'all need to fill us. So that's all I was going to say. But this actually, I disagree with that. And says SD, thank you for becoming a member of the Touchables, brother. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I actually, I actually, I actually disagree. <laughs> you actually disagree with what my yeah. Yes, okay. I, I like I, to hear that. Go ahead. <laughs> I think men should be should have empathy. So yes. empathy, I put myself on your shoes and I understand you. I don't want men to be sympathetic to women to the point where they say, "Oh no, it's okay. Oh, you had the checker pass." I didn't say nothing about sympathetic. So, so I said compassion. So, so but. <laughs> So, but the compassion part, we as, and by the way, shout out to Anton. Hey, actually, this, one. actually this is really interesting. Shout out to Anton Daniels from AntonDaniels.com for being super duper dope. And is it Easter super. Sunday? Yeah, <laughs> probably because of Christ and all that. But actually, after all the battles and all things, getting $50 for Anton means a lot. So, Anton. Shout out to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And the morning show is kind of inspired in what you've been doing on the Millionaire Morning Show. I'm trying to get a little bit early so I don't overlap you on the, the time table. But again, thank you for the inspiration. And thank you for being one of the butterflies on this butterfly effect. Because if it wasn't Fight Club, I probably wouldn't be here. So shout out to Anton for everything, even the fights and all the wars. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, coming back to what we're saying, security boss. Sure. We men have something that is our biggest gifts and our biggest curse. We take joy on loving and taking care of people. Right? If me and Sway go to a bar and he pays for my bill, Sway is going to come back to his house pr proudful that I went to his city, I was a guest, and he treated me right walk him around and he treat me well, right? Same right. thing with the family. Uh, my family is here. I have gifts for everybody. My dad needs money. Here we go. Men are, men are, give me my example. I miss loving someone, not being loved. Mm. I miss taking care of someone, looking at that person. My life can be in shambles, but because she's happy, I'm happy too. Yeah. I miss that. I don't miss being loved. I could care less. As long as she's grateful to me, I don't care. I will die for her. I will take care for her. I will cherish her. That's the part that I miss. Right. And one thing that is happening right now in 2023, women understand this flaw on the man that is always trying to save her, trying to conquer, trying to make sure that her life is as easy as possible. And they are abusing the fact that men are pre condition to helping women, elderly, and children, right? So when you're talking about um, being, I, I don't know the word, but empathetic towards women or having a, a, a sentiment of um, empathy towards them, I think we actually should put ourselves into their position so we can understand where they come from. But yes. I actually need men to look at it at like at face value. Oh, I have a lot of trauma, and my last boyfriend cheated on me, and I'm confident, and I'm uh, I don't I have issues trusting people. Leave her. Don't even engage. Uh, have empathy for her. Don't treat her like a doll, of course. Treat her like a human being. But if she's telling you who she is, believe her the first time and leave her alone. Don't try to save her like most men do. And somebody is going to come on and is going to have the same sentiment for Black China. Is going to snap her out of the market. And Sway is going to do a show on Fight Club on the next day, shaking his head because that was a sucker that finally, like, actually saved the woman that shouldn't stay on the on the shell 
on the shelf until the day she died. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand? If you ever heard, if you listen to me speak, I, I speak as, as though there's always levels to it. I'll be right back. 15 seconds. There's yeah. levels to it all. There's it's always. not like I'm zero to a hundred. Like, so if she has sex once or twice, it's different than she has sex 20 times. You know what I mean? It, there's levels to all this. And so my thing is that how dysfunctional is she? How um, conducive is she? Is like, is she a good listener? Does she want to learn? Is she actually implement? Is she consistent in training? Like, there would have to be like a vetting process if she actually wanted it or not. But for the most part, it was how much I know I actually want her in that moment. Like, because that could come and go. Like, I could see her, I could see the potential. And then after six months, I'm like, I'm not seeing none of you no more. And I just go my way. So listen, I'm not speaking of women that use um, adult women that use that don't take accountability for themselves. I'm not saying that um, we hear women all the time say that man got us got me pregnant or if someone else's fault. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about someone that uses uh, their trauma for an excuse. I'm not talking about that type of person. I just think in these spaces, a lot of times we just kind of paint women with a big brush. They are all, all the same. And I think mm -hmm. we go in with that demeanor. That's the part I'm talking about. I just think that we need to sometimes slow down, men and women, slow down and just listen to what this person has to say. Ask your questions, of course, and then judge the situation from that. But if we're here to become better people or in relationships to become better people, then we need to always move towards doing that. And I think it for the woman, it comes, it begins with respect. And there is a huge lack of respect for men in these spaces. I agree. Um, listen, there is very much power and femininity and silence from a woman. We need to learn how to be that way so we can learn men. But I understand that this may not be the space in where we learn men or women. But I just still think that we could do better in these spaces. So let me ask Betty. That's what I meant by that. Because you, um, you can't out nurture a woman. If you can, you know she's not the one for you. It's hard to try to understand, I guess, for a lot of men, when you try to explain what, you know, women are, when they don't exhibit the things that you're, like, saying. I it's agree. like, you know, it's like wishful thinking. It's like, yeah, that would be great, but that's not what we deal with. Usually it's something totally nuts or crazy, or it's just well, let's talk at, some about point, it at some point it's good, but then it gets toxic. Right. And, but you know what, Sway, you and I or not just you and I, but you have always, we've all, I've always had conversations with everybody. You know, with me, it's always a conversation. Why can't it can't be that way for everybody? Why is, does it have to uh, get? I'm constant? good. I'm, I agree with you. You know yeah, what I mean? Because I can, I can have the conversation, but I'm just saying to the, to the most people watching or in mm -hmm. general who are just listening, they're not having a conversation. Um, right. They are like, yeah, I can hear you. But when I put that, to the women I deal with or I see in life or on these YouTube streets, that's not what they say, do, or act. They might say do that, but it's like do what I say, not what I do type of energy. And that's like, it's like hypocritical. Right. It's like, that's why I think Lindsay said earlier, and she tried to come at me too, like, oh, but are you doing what you preach? Are you want, were you 100% celibate before you got married? Like, so they trying to say, are you actually doing what you preach type of thing? And a lot of women don't do that and men. And that's why I get at the old heads in this space. But you know what? I think it's more important to be, um, see, sometimes you have to live life to know what you don't want. <laughs> so this say I did come into this thing as a virgin. I couldn't tell anybody anything. I wouldn't because I wouldn't know that I wouldn't know both sides, but I can definitely come in as someone that made mistakes, an older woman that's been married that done the work be accountable for what I did and turn my life around to tell you now, look, this is what works for me. You can do what you want, but this is what's working. You know, I have a husband. I made the mistake. I had a child. I accounted for it. So I'm going to show you on both sides how it works. I'm, I can share with you for, on my channel what how this can affect you. And I can share with you on other channels and everywhere how this can affect you. So it's like both sides because we're always looking for examples. At least we say we are. You're always talking about where are the examples, uh, who's doing this, who's doing this. All I see is this and this and this. So, you know, I'm the one that's going to stand up to be the example. You don't have to pay attention, of course. But what we're doing now is not working. It's not because like y'all said, our women are very our value is being reduced to hardly anything. And our men are not being respected. Our men's value. You know, if we don't have any value, you know, y'all don't either because y'all are equivalent. Y'all we're here for you, not equivalent as in. 
equals, but in creation. So we're for each other. So what can we do? You have value. You just, the value, the innate value you have, you give it away. And the value we deemed outside the innate, you don't learn it. But the men have done that too. You were innately given value to be in a dominion and authority over all things by God from creation. You know how big that is? That's not true. That's some men. But no, 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 no. It wasn't. It was all men. It was all them. Yeah, all when it was men. like 10 of them motherfuckers, when we get to a couple million people, it's going to be some niggas. It ain't going to be all of them. No, no, no. Listen, <laughs> it's, it's innately in you, whether it's been groomed and nurtured and, and promoted and motivated and, and you know, that's totally different. I'm not talking about what sin had, what sin did. I'm talking about the initial plan. You all got it. But yeah, I'm you're equal saying, at conception, but after that, you ain't equal. I, and so, I didn't say you were. I said what was innately in you. You, you, I'm just saying, like, in you at a baby is different than actually going through a life. Like, you're going to develop more than what you were born with because you go through things. Possibly, like, possibly. So the same person could have been a leader in a different life. Yes. But he grew up in this life, and that's not what he was destined to be in this life. Okay, but guess what? That's not that I don't know about people's destinies. That's on them. But guess what? That all can change. We can definitely alter our destinies. That's how some men go to prison. That's how some women end up, you know, on the side of the road, whatever. All that can be oh, altered, no. altered due to our changes this, and our decisions that we make. That's my point so I'm trying to make. Let me. Let me just ask something to security boss, and I want to pass to Daniela, because this is actually is something that I always wanted to ask. No matter the past, right? Do you think women are redeemable if they correct themselves? Like, imagine that woman that have a very scarred past, whatever, being promiscuous, a lot of bodies, whatever we can put on her, right? Drug mm -hmm. use, whatever. Do you think every woman is redeemable as long as she is willing to put the work? Because this is a lot of a lot of men look at women as, hey, if you're stained, get out of my way, not redeemable, I'll get a new one, right? Do you think that women, as long as they put the work, no matter what they do, they are redeemable? Okay, if a woman is wanting to do the work, she is oh. redeemable, but she has consequences of her life. She has a footprint that may be, well, like Angela, a footprint that may be on the internet. She might have four or five kids. She may have done things. She might have robbed a bank. She might have a record. All that stuff is still real and relevant, but she can change. She can be redeemed, but she has to want to do the work. She has to want to do the work. And are you saying for me, will I grace her to do the work? Absolutely. Because I can't, I can't, I can't take that from her. Now mm -hmm. it can be judged by a million different people, but there are consequences for the things that we do. So I hope I answered your question. Yeah. But it's, it's the same for men too. Um, just like just like Sway was saying, we fall away from what our initial um, innate uh, responsibility was. They too, if they realize that, hey, I'm supposed to be, or I'm supposed to be better than this. I'm so frustrated with the way I'm living, where I'm presenting myself. I don't want to do this no more. Men too can change, can be redeemed, and come out being a different man. And sometimes. Sometimes, believe it or not, y'all, I hate to say it. Sometimes it's the encouragement of a woman that actually brings on that change. Men don't. I, well, sometimes we do because they're like there are some things we do. Like I want to say men typically don't hold things over women's heads that they can't control. Mm. But there are some things, you know, sometimes we do like if they got touched or raped or whatever. And like that trauma holds over into the relationship. And it's like some men can't handle that. They don't know what to do with that. Like they feel a type of way. It's not like they can go beat up the person. So right. like, you know, it is what it is. So I think for the most part, men typically go through a life going through trials and tribulations and overcoming. And that's their whole life. If they went to jail and overcame it, that seemed as a deemable accomplishment as a man. If a woman goes her life hoeing around and then tries to redeem it, it's not like like what are you talking about you because for the most part we understand that women's peak sexual value to a man is from her 20s to 30 or around 32 33 probably max right and you gave all that up to be on some fuck shit when a nigga wanted to marry you then but you didn't want to marry them niggas and now that you've been ran through half every many kids is on the back burn on the decline now you want to make a man pay full price for no box 
nah, that's not gonna work. And, like and, that's not you 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 not going that's not an accomplishment that you won't you stop doing that. That's what you wasted your time. And 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 like, that, like and but that's the, right. what, what was she doing in the meantime? Still giving it away, still um actually putting herself out there possibly to have another child, to actually maybe uh sharing trauma with someone else. But let me say this to you, Sway. And this I have no numbers on this. I just give you something else to think about. There are a lot of ways that um, sexual perversion, I'm going to call it that, could be awakened in a young woman or a young man to cause them to be uh, sexually liberated throughout their teens and um, younger years or that would make them come up as a less desirable person. I don't think anybody wake up with the idea that I want to be a 304. I just, I just think sometimes people are touched, like you said. Uh, people are touched. Um, there's some perversion sometimes in their youth that they may not ever talk about, or um, they could be sometimes uh, exposed to uh, pornography. Can I say that? I'm sorry. Absolutely. Okay. Um, uh, exposed to certain things that children shouldn't be exposed to, maybe even touched by another child. Even now, they're reading books at 10 and 11 as boys to, to they, they have a read a summer read out there now where kids are reading how to um arouse themselves as boys with other boys and how they they go graphic in this little book this this easy read on how to take off each other's clothing and arouse each other over the summer i'm just i'm just sharing this with you now that those two boys and say say those boys these are real boys and they actually indulged in this they're um how can I say that their, their level or their gauge for sex is going to be wide open, whereas it should not be. It should not because first it wasn't taught by their parents. And this has a level of perversion because it is with another young man. Now, if that person grows up and now sex is perverted to him because he can't never figure out what he was supposed to be doing or the way he learned was off in the beginning. This is what creates this. Now, I say all this because you mentioned marriage in the beginning. Marriage is what most of the time reveals all this type of trauma, that deep trauma that you're talking about. You get married and you're um, with your woman or with your have, you know, vice versa. You become real vulnerable. Men and women, that's when you start telling them about how Unc came in there and did something real perverted over your body or whatever, and you played sleep because you wanted him to leave. That's when all that stuff started coming out. It didn't come out normal. It's not normal conversation. You got to really know that that person loves you and trusts you enough that, hey, like you said, they won't go beat somebody up. They won't go to jail or they just want to, you know, they'll just love on you and love you through it in order to, for you to be whole in that. That's when that stuff comes out. That's what relationships, marriage relationships are for, to make you better. So um, I just wanted to say that because I think we just get, I do know we're in a time of sexual liberation. I get it, y'all. But I just think sometimes it is not just the way we see it. I think do sometimes you, do you think moment. most people that get married now are celibate before marriage? They get married now? No. So no, but, but I don't do, I don't do the most people thing. I don't do the most. I'm just saying the idea that sex is going to stop you from getting married is not true. So I didn't like, say anything like I'm, that. I'm just saying like it's not going to stop me from marrying the girl that I want. No, but it'll stop but a you, man. you playing games and holding out it's now because game. you deem me as a worthy one and then you didn't deem them other niggas as worthy. So you gave it to them for whatever free or less than a bring. I'm not about that. Well, right. I agree with you, Sway. You don't have to be, but it's not a game. It's me taking control over my virtue, my value. And then I'm saying I'm no longer giving it away. I'm not. And if no, that's if, fine. If, like I said, it's layers because I'm, I'm okay, listen, I if you. it was five bodies. I can be understanding. If it's 10 bodies, that's about my limit, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm only 24. If you got yeah. more than 10 bodies, like you on some other shit. You 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 doing whole shit. You on that level. You going somewhere with it. I'm not on that time, right? And so for me, if she had 20 bodies, 30 bodies, 40 bodies at 22 years old, there are 22 year olds out here with 40 bodies, security boss. Yeah, but, but like, Ray, that, that, let me say this to you. 
Ooh. It doesn't matter if a woman decides, and I hope they do. We have too much to lose, Sway. For me, this is me. I'm a serious minded person. I'm not joking. I'm not playing. We have as women too much to lose, not to be aware of what we're doing. We have too much to lose. We have this just the idea of having kids that are not within wet within a marriage, the idea of um, you know, diseases, just like I said, possible traumas, all of that. Listen, you all have been asking and begging for women to be accountable for the men that they sleep with ever since I've been in this space, which is two years now. All I'm saying to you is I'm advising women to preserve themselves and be accountable for what they do. Now, they may not do it. You know, that's up to them. But if they don't, I mean, because what we're doing now, we got women guacking, tossing salads. All of that for what? And they still not married? The man still don't like you enough? What what, what are we doing this for? What is all this about? Because they like doing that. I, I, I they, don't, they don't act like it. They act like they're in straight up competition with the next girl is what no, they, that's how, how they I, explain it to me. like having sex. Well, they guess can. what? To me, walking, tossing salad is so intimate that... You know, I don't. Uh, 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 uh. I, can't, I can't believe security boss is on my show saying thoughts in I don't even know what. Mm -hmm. I heard that. I wish I didn't hear that, but I just heard that. Uh, what's guacking? Are you trying to say gawk? I don't no, know. No, no, I don't it's, know. It's, it was a comment. No, no, it, was, it, it was. I think. It, let me. Let me say. Is it G A W K? G A W K. I think that's, that's what it was. Walking? That's gawking. Gawking. Then whatever. That's just, that's just giving head security boss. Let, whatever. Let's go. Too let's much. Go a man that don't sleep with you every night and pay your bills <laughs> Let, let, let's go let's go with eating groceries so Taniella, <laughs> welcome to the team fairy show brother. hello thank you from uh, i'm sorry bro. I'm, I'm it's not i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i really you fucking trying to dox my dude right. chill out no it's not because of that because i talked with him for a year like this and now he, he changed his artistic name it's difficult for me to my brain to follow through i apologize paulo now, I was host security boss. Before we move on, I'm gonna let you know the God God 3000 isn't this. That in my wait, eyes, wait, wait, hold I, on, what's in, that? In my eyes, the oral play okay. is where y'all shine, and the stroke game and all that other stuff is where we shine. And so, that guy, I don't want to do this anymore. If that's okay, not so there. But listen to what you're saying. Listen to what you're saying. You or she's not willing to get better, or she don't listen, get better. Like, the fact that you're willing to participate that to participate in that with random women that are not your wife blows my mind. That means that she did it to you. She's gonna <laughs> do it with the next one. She did it with the next one. Guess what? Everybody, no, every I, man I on the panel. Suck at it and I teach her. Oh God, y'all too much for me. And yes, I did say you only do it with your husband. That's exactly right. The man that takes care of you is the man that gets that type of treatment. You don't just be out there to in competition with the next girl hoping yeah, to get a third or fourth <laughs> date. But see, y'all are way more liberated than I ever was. I don't know, man. For the most part, I've Funny enough, the women that I have cuffed, they sucked at it originally. But I don't know. You know I guess saying, I, why, I you show know. too much emotion and like I show when I don't like it. And so they like learn. So I'm like honest. Oh I'm like, if See, I don't like it, I'm yeah. like, I don't like that shit. So. Yeah, the, the ladies' value, the ladies' value just got reduced a little bit more. In my so, opinion. Coming back to God. God. <laughs> Paulo. Do you think? Do you God left the room. Fatty, you say God left the room. God left the room. He's just nursing scholars and gog gogs and all that. I'm, that's a foreign concept to me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Do you think... Are you, are you uh, uh, situated with this uh, Black China story about the fact that she took her, her implants, took everything. Now she got baptized. She's following God and all that, right? So he's, he's basically, we're talking about the concept of born again Christians. Do you think that there's a set ball? And the second part is, do you think most men are willing to uh, be empathetic about it and accept the woman after she had a shaker pest? Um, two things here. So 
great for her on a personal level. She's turning away from a lifestyle that she's determined to be damaging for her. And I guess the Lord is some form of answer for her personal life. So great on her. If we're talking about most men, judging from what I see out in, in reality right now, most certainly, most men will give her a chance because of who she is and what she can do. Now, this is an unpopular opinion, and I've questioned this to a lot of young cats that I mentor now, is that who needs to be more accountable in nowadays? Is it women or men? And I think it's the men. And the reason for that is women are a reflection of the men in society right now. If we are not accountable for ourselves and the things that are presented to us as easy options, the women will never follow accountability if we don't display it at first. So I, I understand it being in the space, we all know what we speak of as men. Men shouldn't do this, men will only choose this, X, Y, Z. But in reality, most cats will give it up to any woman. As soon as she turns away and give him the slick side eyes and, you know, twerk or, or show a, a little cleavage, most men will certainly give it up. And that's that's a shame because I stand on, on completely different values. I stand vast majority, if you know Fatty. I'm a traditionalist. And that's how I run my relationship in, in my household. But based on what I see out in the world, most men don't do that. They will come on these panels or they will be in the comment section talking a whole lot of mad energy about women. But as soon as a bad bitch, as they say, hit the DMs and say, come through, it's game over. Man, I feel you, bro. But even then, there's levels to it. Because... Uh, <laughs> If Precious hit me up, I'm not going. If Amber Rose Precious. hit me up, I'm piping. That's the thing. One like, but but that that's the thing, right? There's the same. Most men are one blow job away from the plantation. That's that's <laughs> that's the reality. Like that's the reality. We talk about all those morals and all those. I will never date a single mom and these and these and these. Oh, and I ain't date no mom. Yeah, but then that's the thing. But then you put a single man in front of the bulls and you see what happened. As soon as we the the the, the curtains close and never the loose go down and nobody's watching. So, you know, like Andre is on the DMs, Fatty is on the DMs, Adam is on the DMs, and everybody's interested because that's who we are as a man, unfortunately. Very few men, a very small percentage are men that are going to stand on principle if the woman is attractive enough. And that's that's the, the honest reality. Let me just play three minutes of this and then security boss, I will kick you off my panel just because you don't want to leave. No, I'm joking. Is that how you do your guest? All this way. Hey even, guys, if, listen, if you want nobody to... even paid to get rid of me and you're trying to get oh, you, oh, you want to put boundaries? Fine, no, guys. <laughs> no, 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 it's all nice. Since you want to do it, no, I will I say, really... I will, I will leave say, slam the door behind me. Security boss, I will send you out of the money. So you have the power to twenty dollars to boot the panelists for fifteen minutes, fifty dollars to boot the panelists for one hour, one hundred and fifty to boot the panelists for the rest of the show. If you guys enjoyed the show, please send me one hundred and fifty so I can send seventy five to security boss. So oh, she, daddy. so she, no, that's actually business, right? It's an investment to be here, so go kick security boss because she's because so she can go to her show and she's kind of I don't know tired of talking with Sway and Sway talking about eating groceries and all that. He's, he's you see disgusting. how this nigga put in words in my mouth. Know, like, this motherfucker, bro, the dark was... psychology. Fuck this <laughs> with the Maserati. L simple. I'm lucky he don't pull up on Fight Club no more. I'm oh gonna do this nigga God. dirty, bro. Hey. Pull up for the panel for the one time, bro. They just don't need to be there at five in the morning. Way and I go way back. Facts. I, I know you guys are friends of long duration, but there's a thing. Bro, I was watching off Security off. Boss in the fucking kitchen, bro. Before I was even electrician, bro. I was fucking there dishwashing, bro. That's when I was watching Security Boss. There you go. Tell him, Sway. Say, Sway, Sway is a loyal man. Sway is a loyal man. So, yeah. Uh, the sponsor of the show, interestingly enough, is Anton Daniels for mentaldaniels.com $50. I think Anton doesn't want to promote nothing on my show, but if you want to promote something on the next show, send me $51 and 
and you can promote whatever you want that doesn't involve adult stuff or stuff that are going to put my channel in jeopardy. The cash app is Team Fatty, Team Fatty, Team Fatty. Let's watch five minutes of the video and then either we open the panel or we go home because today I've been streaming for eight hours and there's a civil war going on that I need to catch up so I can do a show tomorrow. So please, please support us. We're going to start getting some work done, family. So please get them donations in. Get them in. Give me your fucking money. Uh, hit your cash app. Yeah, time out. Eight hours. It was a long show this morning. And he actually ended exactly like he's going on right now. People talking about bottom of something and what is like Israel going at fantasy girl and all that. So, yeah. Let's let's just watch more five minutes of the video, and then we are we were going to see what we're going to do. Not going forward. I'm letting faith lead me, honestly, and it's been it's been it's been really good. Yeah. Like I'm not even worrying about like where is like my next deal or where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? I'm just going to put my right foot in front of my left and my left foot in front of my right and keep it pushing. I totally understand. Yeah, that. I do. Yeah. Uh oh. Angela, what happened? Mm -hmm. What really happened to to make you go through such a radical change? Um, nothing really happened. I just, like I said, like I just started working out, working out sobriety and like my Bible. That's it. Those are the three things that I have been have been sticking with mm -hmm. for the past seven months. And just over that time, it has show me like really like okay like who are you like what is it that you want to do what's the example that you want to set like how are you feeling like is this really you yeah. you know because we put on like hair and makeup uh designer clothes to like cover up something you know and i want to put like my insecurities aside and really step into like the light like my Wait own way to pause she said go go back five seconds and show her outfit or her her head that dress. Yeah. yeah, put on like She's hair and makeup, uh, designer clothes to like cover up something, you know. And I want to put what the f <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> she's with the wig. Oh, the look, she's, she's dressed in a, a, a Versace jacket that is probably ten thousand dollars or whatever it is. Is the the performative stuff? She doesn't I have any makeup, but she does have on some hair. And Versace, y'all are so right. Yeah. <laughs> she and he looked at herself. Why? She looked at herself. She examined herself. I don't understand. But that, but that's the thing too, right? Because this is a softball interview. Because the the lady didn't push back. The lady said, like, she saw the jacket. She said, oh, okay. Probably something got on her head. Like, ah, it's fine. Let, <laughs> let's keep going. But listen, the lady made her feel that comfortable enough to say it too. Yeah, she's whispering to you know, whispering. Oh no, she's this, whispering this, this and she's cool looking at her yeah. with a face of concern, like yeah, like this is it. what happened to you, baby? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but the thing That's is, so she, she is a fitness model too. The the lady that's interviewing her, okay. she's she was an IG model too before, so. I can see why she has, is she's empathetic towards or sympathetic towards mm -hmm. Black China because she probably sees herself in probably 10 years. But we're going to talk about it later. Put like my insecurities aside and really step into like the light, like my own light. You are you without <laughs> all of that. Trust yeah. me. And, and <sighs> there was no one exact moment. There was no one defining moment you can think of that just made you realize I have to do something. It, it wasn't. Really? Literally, I'm just, I've been just like walking on water. Why are you life insecurity, boss? She said, really? <laughs> this but is the funny part for me because there's there was no defining moment that she decided that, she, that being an OnlyFans model and working in the strip club and all that just wasn't good. She just Woke up. Oh, she exercised and realized she was getting very thin and noticed that she didn't need her fillers. That was it. That was the only thing that made her decide, you know what? I need to change my mindset. That's just, yeah, that's, yeah. 
that's basically it was like I got what I wanted, the look that I wanted because I went to the gym and now I don't need it anymore. So let me <laughs> let me go ahead and do all of the all of the same time just in case. I don't know what happens on her lips. I don't know if she has fillers. But like I don't understand, like your skin complexion is super white. Even her lips don't have color. I don't know if that's normal or not. I don't know if it's the lighting or something like that. But it feels like do you see those mascaras that the woman usually get when they go to sleep or before sleeping? They put the they the, the mask, the, the mask they put on, like the facial mask or whatever they put, right? It seems yeah. like she has one. Which is I think kind of, this is her natural look. I think she has no makeup on at all. It looks like to me that's why she may appear to be a little pale. She has moisturizer on, though. You see, her skin is beautiful, flawless, yeah. actually. Yeah. I don't know about it. Yeah, it wasn't like okay, this happened. I didn't get sick. I wasn't ill. Um, nothing of the sort. I was just like, you know what? But working out, I mean, working out is what kind of like maybe kind of led to it a little bit yeah. because I start, as I said before, when I started working out, all of the fillers started to become more protruded because I started to slim down. I could really see like my facial structure, but nothing like traumatic that's, that happened. Nothing traumatic that no. changed her heart. Mm. Nothing changed her heart. Yeah. Do you think you... Let me jump to it because he's saying getting away from who you have been. Because she's on this, she's going to talk about her first job, how she became a stripper in her teens and all that, like something that we all know. I just want to know what's going to happen from now on so I can have like an understanding. And like the timestamp saying get away from who you have been, who supported you, is Black China in prayer? Black China future, what's next for Angela? So, oh, and then she promotes Black Hampton season two. Ah, okay, but this is five minutes. We're going to try to speed through. They're talking very slowly, so I'm going to put one and a half, and then I think we get the gist out of this. Let's see what's the future of Black China. You have enough space to do that. I know you've mm -hmm. done it in, on some level for mm -hmm. probably a number of years, but sometimes I know when you're trying to, when you're trying to get away from who you've been and step into who you're trying to be, do you want who you've been to be so close, just right there next to you going forward? Yes, absolutely. I feel like who we are is who we are. It's just unlocking our fully, our full potential like within. Yeah, because it's not like it's something new that's brought into like our lives. It's just unlocking like who's really inside of here. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now, like unlocking like who's in here, you know, like that inner childhood, like all of that, because we're, we're born like how we're born and things like that. And that's why even like me reading books and certain things to like reprogram like my mindset yeah. to unlock that. And who's supporting mm -hmm. you on this journey? Who's supporting me? Uh, I have I have a lot of people supporting me, actually. Even the guy that's watching right now is supporting me. But I have a lot of support. And I feel like mostly, like, <sighs> support can come from, like, different ways. You have, like, emotional, physical, um, business. Just it's everything. But and who's been your main shoulder to lean on during this time? Main shoulder to, like, lean on? Other than God. I would have to say my Bishop James. Really? Yeah, I talk to him all the time. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's called me, like, not too long ago. Like, well, baby, you okay? I'm like, yes, yeah. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Is your mother, is she not on this journey with you? Um, no, not at the moment. I mean, she is in, 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 in prayer. You know, I pray for mm -hmm. her and make sure she's good and her well-being and things like that. But these these are things I feel like she has to deal with um, herself. Like, you know, I can't tell her what to do or nobody can tell her what to do, you know. But hopefully one day she will, you know, come into her zen, you know. Because my mom, she's really smart. Like, she's really beautiful, all of that. Yeah. You know, and just growing up, even like looking at some of the things that she do, I now do like... Like just little things and like, hey, my mom used to do that. And I do it now too. So it's like certain things that we do pick up on that we carry, carry uh from our parents because that's what we that's what we see. And that's why I'm so adamant on the things that I'm doing now because I want Dream to pick pick up on the things that I'm doing. Yeah. So if I'm in the gym she and I'm working out, she'll come work out with me. Or if like we're eating like our healthy stuff and, and king and just us as a group, as a group. I'm, I'm like the mama, but you know, yeah. it's my <laughs> posse. Yeah. I just want them to pick up on the positive traits and things like that that's gonna help them in the long term. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what do you intend on telling Dream? Because she's going to grow up and she's mm -hmm. going to be able to understand everything that's out there. What do you, right. How do you intend on explaining 
all of those situations with the other side of her family and everything to her. I don't think that it's going to be any type of explanation. Um, me talking a dream and things like that, because it's going to be so far behind, you know, and every day we're growing and growing and growing. And I'm pretty sure that the relationship between everybody is going to become more better. You know, people have to heal. Time has to pass and only time will tell. But on my end, everything's like positive. It's nothing like negative at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you are. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. So what is next for Angela? So what's next for me, Angela, the businesswoman, Black China, the brand, um, the music, music, television, film, and also two more new business ventures. Yeah. Can you tell us more? See, I'm a creator and I like to create things and I like to do it from A to Z. So I feel like now by me posting that video, it makes me want to post like the journey of creating like a new business venture. Um, uh, <laughs> so so there's the thing, right? Remember that, oh, you should disappear for two years and come back and tell your story. No, no. This is an opportunity to sell things. I agree. And so this, so this business. Black Hampton season two. Let's see what he's what she's talking about. Um, and showing them like the steps and how to do it and and where does it stem from? Because I want to like inspire other people because everybody, we're all creators. We just have to unlock it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And once you unlock it, it's gonna be so good for you. Okay. Yeah. It, it, I want to know. You said television. Yes. Do you have a new show coming out? What's going on? Um, yes, we just got picked up for the Black Hampton season two. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. And also too, like more more movies. And I don't want to say two two of them because it's not fully in in, in writing and paper mm -hmm. in black and white yet but i'm really excited about it and, it yeah, and this is this lining up because like i feel like even with some of the up. characters if you think about it most people that act and actresses they, they have like their flaws and their things and it's like you can't have like a perfect face and these type of boobs in the butt um, you know yeah. or you she wants to go into acting She's going both into an acting career. She knows the piercings on her face yeah. and their fillers mm -hmm. and the big E's and the big mm -hmm. S are not going to make it. So she took it all away so she there can do the transition. Listen to the end and you will figure it out. You're right. <laughs> like, I agree. I agree with you guys. I do. Oh. But listen, Fatty, I really have to go. But I want to tell you something. This mm -hmm. has been very good. It almost makes me think that... Um, you should do a show or someone, I'm going to say you because I'm speaking to you, where you mm -hmm. can get a group of women on, maybe three very nice women that love to have conversations. And guys also, and because Angela is really not a good example, you know, because she's Hollywood per se, but just mm -hmm. average women or women that we see every day and men that we see every day and ask these type of questions, meaning, um, would they want to preserve themselves for their husbands? Uh, what, how are they living their life now? You know, and, you know, th those type of questions, all those things that we kind of touched on, you know, today, ask that to a true audience of people of your peers to see how they would respond um, to that. I think that would be nice if it could be a conversation. You don't want, you know, bickering back and forth. You can't understand. Oh, no, no. Uh, I think that would be a great conversation. Today, this was the most peaceful, and it, because I didn't open the panel like that, I opened it, but I have people at the bottom, and I did brought it up, I just sent him a message here and there. This is the wild, wild west. When I go to your panel, I'll try to be a little bit more conservative. I can, I'm able to have elevated conversations, but this is not the real fatty. The real fatty usually comes with a little bit more of a... <laughs> today, I, I, I try to behave myself, so security boss doesn't pull my... my I want to be... I, went, I actually want to be polite about it and I actually appreciate you being here. Thank you. Um, and again, you are out there, strong panels and all that. I'm going to get there eventually, probably very soon. Um, so we're well, going to be in touch. Thank you for I, I want you to tell me, you started out earlier when I first came, there was something you said I should know about some kind of war or something you were saying. Was it, did you uh, say something? I would mm -hmm. say, I'm going to put a link on the back. Okay. And you and Mr. Boss, I think you guys should talk about talk about it because oh damn, she privated the link. It can be. No, she didn't. So okay. This is going to be the show tomorrow after Fight Club that I'm going to do. 
there's the civil war going on between B. Taylor King, Queen Sheba, Kayla, like all the the big players reunited. So yeah. So I know they're having a good time because I'm on. I'm the only one to give them kickback. Yeah. They they talk about me. They didn't want. To. B. Taylor was on the back saying, "Don't let Fatty up." They Don't talk about you. Fatty. I never heard them talk about you. Yeah, this is the thing, right? I'm I'm <laughs> an infamous person around, but I'm not famous like that. But what mm -hmm. happened was King Shimba. She did the panel, man that ate woman. And on the thumbnail, it was like Anton Daniels, Logic, Ali, Illosophical, Mr. Let Go, Bruiser. And then I was there. I was like, what? I, I dropped, in, I dropped in earlier um, and I, I didn't see, they weren't there when I was there though. I just, you know, made, like I told you two comments, but I didn't see them. They weren't there when I was there. So I don't know too much that what happened yeah. afterwards because we've been here the whole time. So I don't know, but, you know, bless those ladies. But yeah, I'll, I left the, the link on the back. Once again, thank you very much. If Mr. Boss can do the clap, because I don't have the... Rah! I actually appreciate it. I don't know if Mr. Boss is that or not. Yeah, he's there. There you go. We appreciate you. Security Boss. Guys, the link. I'm going to give the link. You're probably already a follower. But please go ahead and give her a follow. She is about fixing things. I'm about destroying things. So... <laughs> Today, we kind of like mix it up a little bit. So I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everyone that is watching us on Security Boss right now too. I'm going to send my people their way. And I hope that you don't hate me as much as you hated me before. I come in peace. I am your friend. Because every time I go on the chat, there's some people. It's not because of you. It's because some people know my reputation. So they kind of, oh, Fatty from Fight Club is here. Something is going to happen. So, guys, forgive me. I have sinned, but now I found God and I'm a born again Christian, just like Black China. So, please forgive me. Security boss, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Boss, thank you for arranging this thing. I appreciate you guys and I see you guys soon. Thank you, Fatty. Y'all have a good night. Sway, good to see you. And I didn't get the other man's name, but Apollo listen. Fest. It's, it's Apollo oh. Fest. Apollo, thank you so much for being here. Y'all have a good rest of the night, and I hope I hope I get invited back sometime soon. Thanks. Bye. Thank you very much, security <laughs> boss. You are welcome. Welcome, welcome. Talking about Messi. Look at who is here. Whoa, with him, with him, with him. Hey, Patty. What's up, Greenville? What are what's Wayneville? What where were you, bro? You got the you got an emoji and you disappear all of a sudden. What now you're uh, uh, uh um I had to go handle some things, you know. Oh shit, is that uh oh. FBI open up what? And, what? And what? He what? said that he said handle some things, either you went and get some you got some coochie or... nah. nah, ew, ew, ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. He's a fucking piece of shit, guys. Again, I've always been a piece of shit, but hey, fatty. No, uh -huh. I'm not a piece of shit. I'm a big piece of shit. Oh, you are a big piece of shit. Okay, hey guys, drop Grandville uh, emoji, but don't put a lot because it's going to look bad. So just put two or three. We're coming. Nah, spread them ugly shit, Jeremy. Spread them. Spread them, Jeremy. Put them everywhere. Hey, great! Everywhere. Do you know tomorrow we're going to do like a come to G, like we are going to cover the civil war that's going on? You know that, right? And by the way, civil you, war. Thank you for gifting subs today. Right oh. now, let, let me tell how many how many members. What civil I war? What, what what's the civil war? So so there was a lady that did a show saying go go boycotting Lapif, right? Boycotting Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I've been busy all day. I haven't really been on YouTube since you had Team Fat, uh, Fatty Show. Yeah, the morning show, yeah. So yeah. there was a lady that did the uh, show calling Black women need to boycott the Lapif show. Sheltered good girls are always in this type of relationship, right? What? And she's, a, she's a very big YouTuber. She has 200,000 subscribers. What's her name? So, uh, Real Talk with Yanni. Yanni? The yes. terrorist? 
Oh Lord. So, Yanni, Yanni, Yanni. Basically, Yanni, like, Yanni. But she don't really she she like diet, she like diet Cynthia G. Yeah, she it, really like, be like, hype they, like that. But she Anton was too. there, Lapeef was there, Kayla was there, huh? was there, Queen Shiva was there, B Taylor was there, Tommy Sotomayor was there. It was like the Avengers fighting panels, right? Everybody was what? there. Yeah, so tomorrow we are going to review the show. We are going to review the show. Wait, huh? I wanted to come in, but as soon as they knew, like somebody said Fatty, and Bita was like, Fatty's on the back. Don't let him go. Don't let him come up. <laughs> I was like, damn. No, like, wait, 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 wait. When was this? It was today. It was like, bro, before. bro. I leave YouTube for like five hours to focus yeah, on my job. It was two hours ago, and I was like, "Damn!" So, bitch, telling me not to come up because I know she knew that I was going to fuck her up, right? So they kind of danced around. They brought people in, and they brought people there, and I was there like, to ask a few questions, right? Because they were like, "Oh my god." This is such a toxic environment. Oh my god! They time out, so time out, time out. I miss, I miss the petty trolling. Oh today. yeah. And now you couldn't troll like the fest was going fast, like so fast. Rob, oh, yeah, and yeah. having like two K people in our chat and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rob, you not so yeah, yeah. Robin they be coming, they be coming me out sometimes over there. Though. Robin M was saying, no, so they catch me. Robin M. Yeah, right. look, look. I'm gonna tell you what Robin M do. Robin M don't send no super chats on y'all channels. But she'll go over there to the other spaces and she'll super chat it up. You hear me? No, on, on, on G Prince channel, she actually super chatted, but she was always petty about it. Like it was that let me pay to insult you type of super chat. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to them boys, the untouchables, man. They doing their thing. Y'all go support them niggas. Marcus, Ali, them. Y'all go support them niggas, man. Who SB, else is on that? SB, do you need me to remove oh. your links? So you can close. Uh oh. I don't think she's supposed to be here. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So so that happened, right? And I didn't have the chance to talk with nobody. I'm streaming for nine hours from now, probably. Oh yo. So we are going to talk about it tomorrow. I think Daryl's live right now. Who? Daryl's live. I want to know what Daryl. He has like two hundred or three hundred people watching because he's the messiest of them all. Nah, I don't do Daryl that. You messy too, fatty. No, I'm not Daryl. Not even. Nah, close. nah, nah. Mm, listen, man. listen. The reason why I like Daryl is toxic. Listen, listen, like listen, 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 listen. The reason why messy. I like both of y'all is because both of y'all messy and hella toxic, and y'all bring energy and y'all funny as hell. You, you there's as nothing. Come on, man. Like compare these, right? Okay, okay, I'll compare it. You're like, you're like, like Kyle Ken Goku, but Daryl, I'll give Daryl like Super Saiyan. Kyle Ken, God, like, come on, I'll give, like, give him Super Saiyan too. You Super know what I'm saying? Both of y'all, both of y'all too. Both of y'all be crazy. Times. Nah, Ten both times. of y'all be crazy. Nah, nah, I'm fatty. Both of y'all be crazy. Let's be real. Man, let's let's man. straight shoot it. Let's straight shoot it. Both of y'all be on y'all shit. There, your wife killed herself. Uh, your uh, 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 but fatty, I fatty, you be saying your slick shit too. Come on, don't do that. Compare 